out of anger for our <laughs> implied verbal agreement. No, breaking. no, 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 no. <laughs> I told you, I told you that that you'll you'll know when I get you for that one. <laughs> I don't just get me crim. I don't want to be looking over my shoulder all season. <laughs> I'll and give that's, you one, and that's one, it. one, one, one free punch. I won't even hit you back. One free punch. Just don't, avoid the face. Hit me as hard as you can, and then we're good. Nope, we're gonna wait. We're, we're gonna wait forever. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Become a legendary supporter of the show by ordering your Commander Legends cards from CardKingdom.com. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week is Viewer Submitted Week. Two weeks ago, we asked you, the viewers, to submit your decks that you want to see in a future Commander Clash episode. And this week, we finally get to play four of them. Uh, the response, as always, was terrific. So thank you to everyone who submitted. We got, like... I think just on the YouTube uh, comment section alone, it was at least 300 submissions, many more uh, on the article section, and then through tweets and emails. So thank you again to everyone who submitted. There's a lot of really sweet brews that we could choose from. Uh, unfortunately, though, we can only select four at a time. So let's kick it off with Seth. Which deck are you running and who submitted it? Ooh, so I have a sweet one. I actually have a relatively recent commander that I don't think we've ever seen on Commander Clash, which is Tiam Luminous Enigma, one of the Commander Precon legends from Ikoria, I believe. So mm -hmm. this is a Tiam deck. It's from Doug, probably better known as a Dan Wildfire on Twitch or Paradoxical Wedge, apparently on the website. So uh, thank you to Doug for sending in a really sweet deck. And it's kind of a, I would say a unique take on an aristocrat style deck where Tiam it's a really weird card, but the big ability is you can remove three counters from among creatures you control, and you get to mill yourself for three, and then put a permanent converted mana cost three or less onto the battlefield. So we got ways to put counters on things. We got some aristocrat, like Midnight Reaper style payoffs to like draw cards as we sacrifice some stuff. Luminous Broodwash shenanigans. So kind of a graveyardy reanimator aristocrat deck trying to take advantage of Tyam's ability to to keep uh, putting things into play from the graveyard. Very sweet. It sounds dirtly. I can feel the dirtles happening right now, Seth. <laughs> it's, it, it's pretty dirtly. There's, I mean, there's some card draw and, you know, some value engines. And sure. I guess maybe my Sun Titan will kill you or something. <laughs> I mean, enough... Enough, like, cruel celibate triggers will get the job done. That's just going to take a while. So there are ways to win the game, but it, it's going to not be quick, I don't think. Excellent. Excellent. I am excited. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Krim. What are you running, and who submitted it? I am running a Magetta the Lion deck submitted by Ilvaldi. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's right. We're running a mono white deck. I <laughs> Is this, like, Wrath Tribal? No, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Like, <laughs> like, maybe it's Wrath for your lands. Who knows? I'm I mean, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a Wrath on a stick. So, I mean, it, it is, but it doesn't kill everything. It only kills creatures. So, um, but yeah, like the, the, the whole point of the deck so far seems to be just taking advantage of things like land tax and all of that, you know, the classic mono white stuff, and then just lowering my mana count and doing other things along the way. <laughs> oh, no. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Do we have to kill Grim first? No, 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 no. Week? <laughs> He's making a very solid argument for that. So. <laughs> uh. It's it's pretty, it, it's lowering just my land count, not, not, actually, it, it has parts that increases my opponent's land count. So uh, this way we get to keep triggering land tax and then doing some things where we blow up the board a lot. And that's it. <laughs> All right. Kill Krim first. I got it. It only blows up creatures. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> it, I don't blow up lands except my own, actually. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> Richard, what are you running? All right, it sounds like I won't be playing Magic today. Um, <laughs> I'm not playing so your lands! You creature, while while Seth be dirtling, I'm going to be turtling. I oh have a turtle tribal deck. <laughs> wow, that hit yes. me hard. <laughs> called yes. The Throttle by Turtle Void. Yes, the username has turtle in it as well. Um, 
It's an Azuri Claw Progressimic Turtle deck. I had to make one substitution because, you know, there are some turtles that are just too powerful for Magic Online and they never made it onto the platform. <laughs> oh, so, wow. uh, yeah, we're, we're playing turtles. I don't know how we're going to get around the wraths. Um, <laughs> we're just going to hide in our shell very, and very hope slowly. it's good. Yeah, slowly some of them are indestructible, right? They have a really hard shell. Uh, uh, I don't know. But there are some cool cards that I didn't even know existed. I hope I, I draw them and show you guys. There, there are some really good turtle cards that I did not know were magic cards. I feel like turtle tribal is going to be something that you're going to have to run back very soon, though. With Commander Legends, is a Salty Turtle Commander, which yep. seems like the perfect... Uh, this is leader. this is the test run. This is the yeah. test run. This is this is your your teaser, everyone, for the the greatest tribe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the greatest tribe never knew existed. <laughs> uh yes, turtles. It, it will be good. Amazing, and that intro was fantastic. So, uh, major props, regardless of what the turtles actually do. This game, major props for. Uh, <laughs> I've already. For I've won the pregame. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And finally, hello, this is Tomer. I am running Brutaclad Tokens, which is a deck submitted by Flam Doodle. So thank you, Flam Doodle, for the submission. Brutaclad, this is not, this is just like, this is Brutaclad. This is a very like stock Brutaclad list, I assume. I've never played Brutaclad myself, but Brutaclad is always a commander that I've always been very intrigued by. It looks like a really cool commander. Um, it's a tokens commander, artifact tokens commander to be more precise. Uh, usually tokens are in the realm of white and green colors. Uh, Selesnya is usually the archetype for uh, uh, tokens. So it's really cool to see two colors that are definitely not uh, white or green. Uh, it's red and blue uh, doing the token archetype. So it does it in a very unique way. It runs a bunch of cards that you wouldn't see in like a Selesnya token deck, obviously. So... I'm just really excited for it. I think it's been played a single time uh, on Commander Clash. I noticed it was like an Anything Goes, and Seth played it one time um, way back when, and it hasn't been seen since, I believe. So I was really excited to actually give it a shot, and like like Richard uh, said, this might be a test run for maybe a future project of mine. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, we have the deck intros out of the way. Let's hop into the game. Verticlad is super sweet. That's one of the, gotta be one of the cooler commanders they printed in, like, recent years. Um, I agree. This one doesn't look, like, obnoxiously strong either, because it's, like, a six-mana creature. But it does really silly things. Like, there's a little bit of a primer that came with the deck, and it has, like, <laughs> you know, like, if you do such and such thing, that it will break Moto. And I'm like, yes! <laughs> this is ah, what I want. When you're losing, <laughs> There's literally, there's literally a, a, a note that says making a multiple blank does some really weird read MTGO breaking things. So I was like, all right, you sold me. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, do oh, I keep people this are going to be no? angry about this. Do you have a soul ring? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't have any banned cards, but <laughs> I have crim cards. These are cards that I would expect out of crim, and then I would start attacking you, but <laughs> they're in my deck, apparently. <laughs> Ah. Well, hold on. Let me think here. What are what do you have in those colors? Mana drain is in the budget now, but you're you're not. Right, that's not free. <laughs> oh, did you did you guys see that they're gonna have uh, uh, like four player commander leagues on Magic Online starting today? I think or like yesterday when this episode goes up. Uh, I did not. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yes. you can actually actually play like semi competitive commander now on uh, on Moto. It should be interesting huh. and. And rather than getting prizes for winning, you get most of the prizes based on the people you play with voting on whoever they want to vote for, essentially. Whoever's deck was coolest or whatever criteria they want. That's how, like, 75, I think, percent of the prizes are handed out. Oh, dude, I would never get any votes. All I do is... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I if you like to play play extremely <laughs> salty cards. Just, yeah, <laughs> I love salty cards. There's no way I'm getting any votes. <laughs> that's interesting that it's a vote system. I mean, it's basically like Command Fest. Right? Yeah. Where you, you get to vote. Yeah, I think that's the idea is to make it so... The incentive is not just to, like, be CDH and combo off as quickly as possible as far as prizes, which... I don't know if it'll actually work or not, but I think yeah. the idea is good. I mean, if the prizes are good, then wouldn't that, like, 
in that like want make people want to collude kind of where you're just kind of like voting for whoever wins uh yes you can do collusion right in chat <laughs> yes just vote, vote for me, me guys i'll send you a ticket <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't yeah, know yeah. how they're gonna i take it back that. oh this card it's a white one drop week here on commander class is this the card that you were you, you were guys fearing? need a battle to the death no no it's uh it's the one i'm gonna play next turn <laughs> Okay. Is <laughs> well, maybe we'll see what I draw, but probably play next turn. Uh, so maybe it's not that bad. Sand has this. So I noticed this deck. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be a poo poo, but just like, <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. just uh-oh. like, <laughs> just like uh, on turn you, one, Tomer. No, at I'm, least, uh, at least go a couple turns uh, before you poo poo uh, uh, the I'm deck. Say, all I'm saying <laughs> is, if you have a very high converted mana cost like this deck, you might want. More lower CMC ramp. I'm just, I'm just, just. Cons- cons- Are you holding I, a hedron archive? Do you have a hedron archive your and you're salty about it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, man. Why do people? No, man. I'm just- I, I. So I have to tell the, I gotta tell the story real quick because Cedron Archive came up. So I got this submission and I didn't end up playing it, but I opened my email and the title of the deck is like secret Secret deck. from Tomer? Don't, don't tell Tomer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. something like that. And, uh, and I'm not gonna too. go too far uh in depth on it because who knows, maybe it'll appear in the in the future, but it was basically like Hedron Tribal, and the yep. idea was just to play all their Hedron cards and like troll Tomer <laughs> the entire episode. I, about I Hedron almost Archive. wanted to play that. <laughs> I almost wanted to play that. <laughs> I was choosing between that and one where somebody uh sent it to me, it was no lands in the deck. And it was all MDFCs and mana rocks and whatnot, and it was Keenan or Keenan or whatever as the commander. It was it was a pretty fun deck. Uh, deck. Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, oh, non creatures. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Why the week where the Chris plays model white weenies or whatever? Oh my goodness. Uh, yes, Seth. Yes. You know what's you know what's good. <laughs> Against a lot of high CMC ramp cards, Tomer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, at least I'm hitting my land. And there's drops. a bomb to back it up. Something like there's legacy going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just I wipe honestly... the board with my nine CMC wrath. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, surely it... Cyclonic Rift isn't banned, so you're okay. Uh. And it it doesn't stop. Crim's commander from just wrathing the board anyway. Although this, I don't even know if Crim right, wants to wrath yeah. Gaddic T. No, I don't. Probably helping him. <laughs> Why would I want to? <laughs> I will say on the Hedron Archive note, uh, I actually played Hedron Archive in a Kozilek deck. The bridge gameplay should be out by the time uh, this Commander Clash goes up. Uh, it should be going up Wednesday, I believe. Um, so I actually got max value out of it, and I was very proud. So I, I run Kozil- I run Hedron Archive in Kozilek the Great Distortion. Um, if people actually watch the video about Hedron Archive, which most people just like wrote an angry response instead of watching, but oh well, that's fine. Not bitter about that. Anyway, I, I specifically <laughs> mention that Hedron Archive is actually good if you're ramping it towards something. Like, you're ramping to a higher converted mana cost commander, for example. And Kozilek's looks like, was it exact, was it an uh, example that I brought up in that video? So I, sure enough, I, I, I made a, I made a vote on what people wanted to see. And I mentioned offhandedly, uh, that I run Hedron Archive and Kozilek. So it goes, look, one by a landslide. In the stream, I, I managed to actually get the Hedron Archive, and I got it. I got a max value out of it, and uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, it's the best you'll ever see Hedron Archive ever used. Uh, it was a I, lifesaver. I, I, I I happened to uh, be there for the that part of the stream that you're talking about, and uh, we'll, we'll see. You might get me. <laughs> You might get some angry comments uh, it, on this video too. It literally won me the game, so I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, more, uh, I won't spoil it. But it, it was the best you'll ever see here in archive. Every is what it. What did Richard get here? Ooh, could I, that's that's cheap enough to get in under the Gaddick. Yes, and I get to use before way, way. you even mind censor. We got like two weenie tax decks over here. I'm like not I'm re- gonna do any magic. <laughs> 
I'm really not Crazy. attack stack. I just randomly have Gaddick Teague uh -huh, because it Mata. doesn't hurt my deck. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not attack deck either, so you're you're good. I'm, I'm not taxing. I'm just asking for donations. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, no. You should put it in your hand. Cool, dude. Come what what does your commander do? Remove Mine. three counters, mill three cards, and sun titan something? Okay. Basically, yeah. Oh, that means this Gaddick T is never going away. <laughs> Why would you want it to? Uh, maybe, I smoke you. I want to cast non creature spells. Maybe but I, you're have a I thought you were a turtle there. tribe. I thought all turtles are uh, creatures. Oh. Uh, but, you know, Field of the Dead, hold what? on. Oh, come on, <laughs> right. Sam. What is right, this? Sam. It's just a, it's just a land. What is this, yeah. CDH? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these tier one cards being played. <laughs> I like the Field of the v Dead taps for mana. That's, that's what I really like about the card. I like that it's yeah. not legendary. I think uh, that's what I really like about the card. Yeah, that, that's Field of the fair. Oh, I need my Vesuva, but I don't have enough. Unique lands to turn on Field of the Dead. Oh, finally yep. somebody decided to ramp, and I was like, "There's two green decks. No one ramp. Now I can because going first with Wayward or Weathered Wayfarer is very awkward. But I'm also not gonna go on the on the draw. So, <laughs> well, I, I guess uh, I'm, I'm hitting my land drops, which is great. So, I mean, eventually, eventually, I'll be able to play Magic. I are you uh, are you leaving up a counter, Tomer? I Maybe. Am. Maybe you shouldn't attack me. Oh, okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, hmm. how about this? <laughs> if, oh boy, I don't like this giggle. Um, if you don't counter my stuff, I'll sacrifice my Gaddic Teague this turn. How bad is the thing you're doing? Oh, Lotus Field <laughs> is very good. Well, that's, yeah, that's a good way to keep your land count low. Yeah, I was going to mention it. Uh, Lotus Field is probably one of the best underrated mono white cards because, like like Kareem was mentioning, there's Weather Wayfarer, there's Land Tax, there's Night of the White Orchid. There's a bunch of cards that say, if you have less lands than an opponent, you get to do something really powerful. And uh, Lotus Field basically just enables that without much drawback because it has hexproof you're not afraid of like strip mine effects and whatnot oh uh, yeah exactly there's also like Where's, you could take oh, it like further can't despian stage <laughs> yeah you could even take it further there's cards like brought back and face reward uh, uh brought back is is one of my favorites like uh ooh, and, and seven's re reclamation look at that ram yeah look how much mana mono white ram three <laughs> mana put a land into play Woo. Wait, this will neat. matter. This will matter. And so the Crim Crimsec is kind of going off at this point. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Better watch out. <laughs> <sighs> if I could only play my five CMC spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it a creature? Just, just, just play a turtle. Awkward. Oh, you're sacrificing the Gadok take for something. All right. I'll gain Our, life. Oh, that's a cheaty land. It's gaining what life. <laughs> How's that cheaty? What? That is so this... cheating. <laughs> Wait, how does? Oh yeah, the shadow spear. Like, how did Krim get to forty-two? All yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Seth. Uh, depending on what you got, just don't don't hit me. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid Krim's gonna start tutoring up strip mines and get my field. Of <laughs> that oh, would be. Also if I was, if I was gonna like do card. that, I would have already done that already. I don't. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm. You, got, you had to get the lotus field first, though. I think. <laughs> no, I could. I, no matter what, Richard's always gonna have more lands than me, right? As long as I. All right, let's just let's just do this. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Are you, are you Come serious? on, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> I just cast my command. I'm gonna, Come I'm on. gonna help all of you in sack the Gaddick to just to be friendly. I should wow. probably keep it, but I, I want to have a fun game of Commander. I don't. Oh, Hold so on, nice. leave, leave that, leave that. Over. No, what are you doing? Blink, leave blink that my card. Azuri. <laughs> oh wait, hmm. Crimson favor of keeping Gaddick. Yeah, you keep the Gaddick. I, I thought you said you're going to. Sacrifice itself. Well, I wasn't expecting Krim to uh, 
yeah, to come he, out so strongly in favor of it. He's yeah, a creature he's deck. deck. <laughs> he's playing mono white. What is he? <laughs> no, we he keep probably the has his own Thalias and stuff in there. <laughs> I don't play that card. I don't know what okay. you're talking about. Uh, if I keep the Gaddick, will you not strip mine me? Yes. What are you going to sack? What do you the think? Mob? Why is there That's a hypothetical ridiculous. strip mine all of a sudden? <laughs> I can just sack the Merciless Execution. Did he, did he and then maybe oh, get it back with true. my commander. That makes sense. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, my God. Okay, Oof. no. Seth, Seth, Seth rules lawyered us or something. He said he was going to sack Gaddick. Yeah, I heard <laughs> Sacrifice the Gaddick. Remember, I, apparently... I didn't he play the broke, replay. I think he also broke... Uh, uh, a treaty with with Krim at some point. What are you doing? Like, Why in are you targeting Halloween my week? graveyard? You got nice. the flashback spell. Oh right, you right. got him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, broke a treaty, Tomer. I don't. Oh appreciate. yeah, yeah. You didn't. I don't appreciate those acquisi- <laughs> accusations. Take no, two no. Hold on. What? All right. Oh wow. All right. And then hey, hit him with the Gaddick. Hit him with the Gaddick. And then no, hit him with Krim flashing. was saying that you broke the treaty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, I mean, well, okay, that, Krim, Krim said hold, that too. So you got to, you got to take the, hold, you got to take the are Gaddick you damage. You break, <laughs> and you're, you broke my treaty with you, like the, the, uh, like the verbal contract we had, and then you hit me, and you exile my graveyard. What's going on? You got to go all, once, once you, once you screw up, you got to go all in to cover up your mistakes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you remove Krim from the game, there's no one to know that. No one will blab. <laughs> you broke the treaty. Yeah, no witnesses. Uh, all right, well, now so you can play things even with, with Gaddick out. Yeah, I Tomer. mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't play most things, nor can I even, <laughs> nor does this deck seem to have any way to uh, deal with it. Deal at, with the uh, Gaddick? <laughs> yeah, there might. Oh, you're, you can copy your reform with your mirror pool. Oh, boy. If I can oh turn boy. Gaddick Teague into an artifact, maybe I can Vandal Blast it. <laughs> <That> sounds <laughs> convoluted. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> it's just can somebody so help this... me out with that, please? <laughs> so it's four mana and discard two cards. Yeah, it's card disadvantage. Wrath. Seems bad. That is a repeatable wrath, though. That's kind of cool. I, I I I tweeted about. It. I have a little chain. If you if you follow me on Twitter, um, I tweet a, a chain about underrated budget EDH decks, and I I listed Majita the Lion recently. Just, uh, Little uh, this, little I feel like if you play this card, you will become Soul a target of the at your is a very good magic <laughs> card. Kill, kill Richard. What? Uh, <laughs> That's all I've heard. Use turtle. the magenta. Can we even kill the Soul of the Harvest? Uh, How about is, that? is it elemental a turtle? No. <laughs> I, there's nothing turtle about it. Oh no. No, not on the Gaddick Teague. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta keep it around. <sighs> actually, see, I'm gonna, this was actually my original plan last turn when I said I was gonna sack the Gaddick. I was, I was planning on doing this, which would technically be sacking the Gaddick. Wait, no, it's oh, coming it back. back. <laughs> oh, but it is technically oh, sacrificed. Now we have a reanimate land. This is gross. <laughs> And also, the awesome. field of the dead is almost online. Uh, Spore frog. frog. <laughs> uh, you, it's just a cute little. This frog. is starting to just look like a, a Marin deck. <laughs> like, it's, it's a Marin deck of mom. extra steps. And, yeah. Uh, are you gonna wrath this turn, Krim? I mean, why? Why would I care about all this? <laughs> like, mm, I mean, I don't want to kill your commander. But I mean, if it's gonna wrath this what? turn, then I'm you have like probably I, 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 do. I don't I don't care about your board. <laughs> okay, well, I'll get enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you really trust anything Seth says anymore, Crim? I know <laughs> sure, you're right. Actually, you're <laughs> right. Crim might be setting me set me up for the backstab to get back. <laughs> oh no, the- no 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 no! If I if I'm gonna backstab you for that that verbal agreement break, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it's a real bi- big moment. <laughs> <laughs> a real big moment not not something like this i'm gonna have to go back and watch the early episodes of the season because yeah. i'm still not convinced there was a verbal 
Uh, you know, an implied I, verbal I, oh, agreement. Oh, there, there was. <laughs> there was. It was on your stream. It was while you were on Twitch. <laughs> I came by and you even said, okay, I owe you one. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> for the next season of Commander Clash. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, that that seems vaguely familiar. Yeah, yeah, does it? <laughs> Weird. Now that you mention it. <laughs> oh, wait, you are right. <laughs> kind of suspiciously hold up mana. No, I attacks. think you just got a bunch of four plus mana things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just going to leave up my mana to do something in case I need to, but I don't have anything. <laughs> I could have flash stuff, too. You never know. You're right, actually. You never know. All, All right. right. Krim's just going crazy with the lands here. <laughs> I'm just ramping. I'm running rampant. It's not a ramp. This is a That's a pretty good mana white start. I mean, this is the Ameria, but, you know, he sacked some planes. No, this, this is probably a strip mine. For what? This. For the field of the dead that he hates, oh. I do hate. I hate. I <laughs> seriously hate field of the dead. What do you think about our uh, arcane signet in mono white? Is that actually like one of the mana rocks that you need to play? Yes, it's just a mana rock, and yeah, it's a white mana rock. Yeah. It, it comes into play yeah. untapped, and it taps for white. Yeah, so it's not like fantastic, but it's definitely above average. Oh, what does this one do? Uh, Strip mine? Well, I'm a little worried about this expedition <laughs> map. Failed to find. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of lands. Guys. Got him. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> what did he grab? Wait, strip do, we, do you have to reveal it? Yeah, yeah it strip is mine. strip mine. Let's talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst yeah. that could happen with a feel of that out, right? Just, like, just remember what? standard where you have wrath after wrath, but you can't deal with <laughs> the field of the dead. <laughs> I, 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 I am actually kind of like sweating right now, staring at that field of the dead. <laughs> it's there are only two twos. Yeah, oh, please, Seth. Please, Excuse, sounds <laughs> underpowered, honestly. Please, like, it's it's not even too. that. Hold so on, though. Whenever even like another non-token creature enters the battlefield under Richard's control. Okay, not whenever a non-token creature dies. No, no, no. Uh, that's, reform. That's Harvester of Souls. Okay. One. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. 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 Maybe Krim is wrathing. Are we wrathing right hmm. here? Oh, I said I wasn't going to. can't afford to wrath. It's four mana. Oh. He has four mana. He has, he has uh, the lotus, lotus field. Yes, lotus field. I definitely. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> the underrated card for white decks. Uh, mm. Yes, I, I, I definitely. Mm. Editor, mm. just. Uh, mm. <laughs> I don't even know. Just, this is instant speed, right? I can do this whenever I want. Strip yes. mine or no, your commander? My commander. Yeah, you, get, you get commander uh, and strip mine. Unless so, Tomer split seconds you. Yeah, because I, guess I, definitely want, is, I definitely want to stop that, right? I definitely want to stop that play. <laughs> do I want to blow up the uh, Cave of Eternity or Field of the Dead? Whoa, 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 Krim. <laughs> I'm not going to wrath. <laughs> I mean, can you bring back script mine? You can get rid of both, I think. Yeah, I think both is the let's, answer. Okay, correct. That would be great. But let's say that uh, <laughs> if we had to choose one. Uh, probably the Cave? Because the cave, he can keep bringing back his utility creatures. Feel that he just makes some zombies until you decide to wrath. Yeah, I think okay. I think feel that is a slower burn than the cave. Uh, cream, Seth, I'm not cream, I'm not even cream. wrathing. I just care about that cave, right? I, the, the cave matters a lot more. That's right. it. Hmm. Crop rotation it into your own strip mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then God, you can I blow like up. <laughs> what are you gonna blow up my misfail plates? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you have a shadow sphere? Then you activate your shadow sphere. And get rid of the lotus <laughs> get, field. Yeah, get rid of that lotus field. Uh, all right. No, nothing. Boo. Nothing else is going on here. Relax. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Everybody's fine for now. I need to. F I need to find a way to get rid of your graveyard and get rid of that strip mine. I mean, okay, as long as you, you should have held onto my Pajuka bug. Wait, how's he getting it back? Yeah, how, how am I getting? Oh, it back? I'm sure he's got ways. I oh, think oh, oh I, 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 can, deck. I have Missville planes. I can put it in the, yeah. my deck but again. He, but he needs his wayfinder. Yeah, but you the wayfinder's two, gone. Two white permanents yet. Wayfinder's <laughs> gone, and the the reclamation's gone. So, well, there could be a right. sign titan. I mean, 
Yeah, we, didn't, like we didn't come worlds. here to not play turtles, so we're just gonna play some turtles. Oh my god, Crucible Worlds, my <laughs> lock and mono white would be obnoxious. Oh wow. Whoa. Well, you went. What? You went. I, I feel oh, like wow. we're not turtles. talking about the turtle lock then, right? Because uh, we're the turtle lock now. <laughs> Uh, is it a one I, four turtle yeah, or is it a three man a cycle? Was this <laughs> is it <laughs> was foreign turtle turtle uh playable and limited? No. No, I don't think any turtles are <laughs> yeah. limited. Actually, wait, no, that 05 flasher from uh what set was that? The it was a, a recent set. Oh the yeah, yeah. The one man of zero five. Yeah, that card is gas. <laughs> gas. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> when your uh, draft deck was terribly wrong. Ooh. What are with all these tutors, man? Where's all the up turtles? To good turtles? I, I don't actually don't know them. what the prime speaker's for. We'll we'll find out when we <laughs> when we try to tutor. I mean, surely you could find your best turtles with it, right? I I think I know what the best turtle is, but we'll see. <laughs> Um, hmm, what is the best here? Uh, is it the one that like whenever it attacks, like gets exiled and comes back attacking every turn forever? Isn't it like a meme, like wandering something, <laughs> wandering turtle? Uh, I, uh, oh, so bad though. Oh, yeah, it is a meme. What is the name of wandering? Oh, I can't remember the, 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 the right me- now. Meandering Tower Show. Meandering, uh, meandering Tower Show. Yeah, that has to be the best one, right? When it attacks, exile it, return to the battlefield under your control, tapped and attacking at the beginning of the declare attacker step. What does that even do? <laughs> it means it's always a, it, it can only attack coming, every yeah. other turn, I think. Yeah. But it can't be it's very with. slow. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but why it's a five mana five nine. What's Krim, the point? This is the best time to wrap the there's two tutors on a stick on the battlefield, Krim. What? Why would I just now? If I'm going to wrath, I just wait until the end of your turn. Because Seth can tutor up per- perhaps an answer. But I would just respond. Mm. Ah, you're right. All right. He still gets the tutor. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Max the end value. Of his turn. Huh? I guess he gets an ETV trigger. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just wrath. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Richard is oddly cool with it. I mean, I, I I cycled my cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with this. <laughs> wow. All right. Then. I hey, he did the rathing. thing. He did the thing. I, I'm not rathing on the end on my turn. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh, technicalities. <laughs> Rules I see. Rules lawyer. <laughs> wait, wait. Sacrifice. And now this reform is going off. You're going to have to. Oh, yeah. This is reform. 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 It's going, going off. off. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Shielded reform. by faith. It's going off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll just actually lose to that, though. I'm going to be very upset. That's what you yeah, get, Once it dies, it gets lose bigger. to Field of the Dead. <laughs> this yeah. Was, this was really going to happen. Oh, the Marsh Flats. Imagine if Field of the Dead was on that uh, right now. But he's just going to save it for next turn. I know. but He's he's a seasoned standard player. He knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> three counter when creatures you control mill three cards that are turned over with a mana cost three or less. Okay, so the command. I honestly don't know how good this is because that means it's i got to so cast good. three creatures to get counters. But Field like, of the Dead. Get three ca- Field of the Dead gives you counters. Oh my it god. It doesn't give me counters. It does. Each other creature you control enters battlefield with additional vigilance counter. Oh, okay. The zombies, yeah. The zombies, I guess, help make creatures <laughs> can, with counters. That's that really is cool. gross. Oh, can, that's that's a combo there. I didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't either. That's why Field of the Dead's in the deck. Wait, it's is not that a, just it's to a get combo? You killed. It's that's it. Well, no, not like no. He a needs he needs combo. mana. Yeah, he needs like an astronaut altar, right? No, well, no, it's just, it just makes creatures with counters. So if I make three zombies, I have three vigilance counters and reanimate something. It's like the worst combo. Oh, that's, that's a total. Oh, whoa, well, three dynamo? That's strictly worse. That's yeah, so much worse than, 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 than an archive. Like, when he archive runs out of cards in hand, we'll, we'll oh, give Oh, boy. <laughs> that's, yeah. You're all, that, you're all that the worst. That doesn't draw anything. That's seriously, why would you play that? <laughs> Felden. Felden in the third bat, baby! He makes tokens. 
Oh. Does anybody? He has the combo. He has the reform combo. <laughs> the reform combo. <laughs> yeah, after after what Seth was doing the past couple of turns, the re- even what <laughs> even what Krim was doing with mono white. I played was far it was more all one interesting. Two drops. <laughs> than I'm just me. pointing out you have a good synergistic <laughs> combo going. on. I didn't say you were the number one threat or anything. That's, that's, that's what it sounded like. Richard. That's on you because you know that's the contents of your hand like. and you automatically pop my hand so strong. <laughs> Richard's attacking me. <laughs> How do I deflect? <laughs> Wait. Interesting. Oh. Seth, you didn't block. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'll keep my commander for the time being. Uh, this clip. I do have a sun titan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was me. Oh, get that strip Jeez. mine. Can you get a strip mine? What does sun titan get? Gets any permanent. Yeah, three, yeah. You two, can get a strip three mine. Three or less, yeah. It's pretty good. It's it's not bad. <laughs> and then he strip mines his own lotus field by accident. <laughs> that could happen with, with me and, and my, my moto history. <laughs> yeah, yes, I would like to use Sun Titan's ability. Are you kidding me? And uh I guess the question is, uh, so can anybody kill uh that Felden before he goes off with Reeferworm. I, I told you, you that. I told you he was going off with <laughs> Reeferworm. No one, <laughs> no one listened. No one listened. You, you have the answers right on the board, Krim. Just yeah, but press I don't the have button. The mana for that, so because I got, I got to get rid of this nonsense card from standard. <laughs> well, I technically do have an answer to you, Felden, but. Oh. Yargo is going for the Sun Titan now. Oh. This, it's on you, Grim. You could have let me keep a land. You could have <laughs> let me keep the land. But he gained six life. <laughs> yeah. When we lose to Reefer Worm. <laughs> he got to destroy a, a land and gain six life. That's insane. Disgusting. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. It exiles. It the actually value. deals with the Reefer Worm. Everything's getting exiled. This is hilarious. Uh, We're not doing much. Hmm. Welcome to the club. You got a reefer worm. You're doing Anna Felden. You're doing good. All right. Richard, anything this, to bring to this, the table? Outside this worm of is clean. All right. Oh it's been drug Yo. tested. It's fine. <laughs> it's turtle it's time, boys. Turtle time. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I, what are you doing? I need to see where you're going. Boyle even like... knows to pre select turtle for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If you get to the point where every turtle draws like two or three extra cards because of non turtles, huh. then they're probably pretty good. One man is zero five flash. That's power creep, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to Armored World Turtle. I don't even know what set this is from because it's from a special. <laughs> that's, that's a that's a card. The no, artwork doesn't even show up for me. So, power, oh my gosh, the it's power a one creep six. Is, is it better? Will you change your power rankings? <laughs> Not all uh, enormous oh. beasts are quick to anger. <laughs> so that, chill. That was. <laughs> That was from the the global planeswalker decks, whatever, like the 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 Chinese ones. I want to say. With like, so you're saying yeah, Armored yeah. World Turtle is an international superstar? Yeah, yeah. international <laughs> superstar <laughs> spreading Armored spreading World the glory of magic. And it was standard legal, I believe. So there, Those people standard didn't players know must not cut on to this powerhouse. <laughs> Everyone's just a meta slave. They don't know the true power. <laughs> Attack me, Seth. I dare you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I only need to draw three creatures and I can reanimate a single thing. Oh, <laughs> baby. Here we go. Tober is actually ahead now. <laughs> yeah, somehow has five cards in hand. Wait, wait, wait ho- hold your horses, all right? Because Seth hold wanted your- to kill my sun titan. Hold. After- Yes, Ribbon! The horses need to be held. (laughs) Retaliation, I think, was deserved. (laughs) You actually just remind me twice now. (laughs) Okay, can can you say you didn't deserve it, though? (laughs) (laughs) Did you Uh, see the lands I blew up? (laughs) Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the pain train? This is actually my favorite card in the deck. Okay. Mr. Pinchy! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what, uh, what is this battlefield you may untap okay oh, wow. this has got to be a combo piece somehow. what is a pincher creature token what's the type so. on that 
<laughs> I just thought it it's was neat. It's gotta be. I just thought it was <laughs> neat. All right, Wait, make, make a, make Adventures a Fair gains Tomer a life now. Oh, Whoa. no. <laughs> out yeah, of, maybe, out maybe of we control. Should be, maybe we should strip mine some of Tomer's lands. I mean, I would have if you would have <laughs> let me keep the Sun Titan. I would have blown oh, up the, the Adventures it, Fair. It would have been my Sun Petal Grove. I what? know where that was going. <laughs> Why would I kill your Sun Petal Grove? <laughs> <laughs> out of anger for our <laughs> implied verbal agreement no, no 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 i told you i told you that that you'll you'll know when i get you for that one i don't just get me crim i don't want to be looking over my shoulder all season <laughs> i'll and give you one one, one, it. So that's one, it. one one free punch i won't even hit you back one free punch <laughs> just don't, avoid the face hit me as hard as you can and then we're good nope we're gonna wait <laughs> we're gonna wait forever <laughs> when is this um I, you know what? Strip mine back so you can grab it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a one in eighty-three chance. It's uh, it's fine. I, I mean, need to wait permanent, so you still we'll can't actually activate it yet. No. Oh, yes. Yes. There's actually a restriction on there this. There is a very slight requirement. That you are right. That. If that's what I was going for. More what? Don't need to. Ooh. A vanquisher's banner mm, or the summoning okay. station. Summoning station. Leave my banner. Now, Mr. P, I spent seven mana the on, on it. making crabs. No! <laughs> Tom, no! Wait, you're, you're, so you're so far pinch ahead. You're so far ahead. Pinch it, Tomer. Pinch, pinch it. Pinch. Uh, we gotta see, we gotta see the pinch. I'm pinching. I'm pinching. You're in a pinch. Settle down. <laughs> Man, that that is rough. Spent seven mana for that. <laughs> <laughs> that art. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a little alien. That's a picture. I was I was expecting more of a crab thing, but now looking at the art a little bit closer, it more oh, makes sense. Artwork. Okay, all right. Well, I hope you're happy, Krim. This is we could have had more of this. We could have had more of the pincher. But uh, I would say I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. It's gonna have to avenge its brethren that were never never around <laughs> to see its heroic deeds. What set is this? I don't the even recognize original that. Mirrodin. Oh, that's the Mirrodin set symbol. Yeah, uh, oh. fifth on. Yeah, but oh, fifth original on. Mirrodin block. Fun fact, by the way, uh, the Mirrodin block was a three setter, right? So it had I don't remember the names of them, but yeah, fifth on and such. Each icon though is actually a piece of Cauldra. So that is the Helm of Cauldra. <laughs> the fifth on oh. symbol is the Helm of Cauldra. Because Cauldra was, even then, Wizards of the Coast knew when they were making it that it was going to be an iconic piece of Magic the Gathering history. So yeah, uh, the there's a helm, there's a shield, and there's a sword uh, representing the helm, shield, and sword of Cauldra. There you go. Recently immortalized to the MTG Remy song. Yes. Do you know how many... <laughs> I'm still getting... Uh, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I wish I had card. There's no notion Steve today. <laughs> Turtle okay. storm. That was Turtle a... storm is happening. Am Turtle I still storm. the threat, you guys? <laughs> I got turtles. Yeah, he's playing the turtles. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make more fish. You already, you already got rid of my summoning station. The pinch. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the pinch that puts it's you over the, the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been mostly. I've been I just. I couldn't have you gaining life. That's all. From the okay, okay. all right, all right. Yeah, because <laughs> look, I'm that's clearly... that's Mono White's job. All right, and so boy, I'm encroaching on Mono White's territory. Yeah, I'm now, sorry. now you're getting into my territory, bud. Jeez. <sighs> well, this seems really bad right now, but sure, I'm not doing anything what? else. So let's, just, let's just slightly annoy people. <laughs> is that that is the motto of the deck, I believe. Wait. <laughs> What? <laughs> so Great! He's literally so, playing his tax deck. It's like a minor <laughs> well, tax card. I think it's in the deck because of Tiama being able to get it back, but I, I don't know if I think it's worth it or not. I'm I gonna, guess if you play it on turn three, it could slow down the game a little bit, but right now it doesn't really do. I'm gonna tap Shadow Spear so many times you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Tomer's got Pincher tokens, Richard's whoa, whoa, whoa. got turtles. The pincher, There's plenty of Pincher's things. Pincher's going in for damage. What do you mean? It can't attack anyone. We all got. We all got what? Turtle. Wait, who, whose swords is that? <laughs> oh, where did that come Krim. from? Oh, Krim? I, I, I don't know how that got there. I, I, I'm being honest. I think you're grossly overestimating what I could do on my board. <laughs> I have uh, two cards in hand. 
Do you know and what was, your commander is? <laughs> do you know what your commander is? <laughs> yeah, your commander does do scary things. I mean, I'm going to play it, but... You're going to oh, have a bunch of pinchers. They, no, a they bunch become of fish. fish. Yeah, they all Pinter become fish. little little fishies, and, and then we're in trouble. And then you can, if you have a sack outlet, you can sack them all. Yes, Did because they definitely it? have a sack outlet. <laughs> yup, you got me. And, and you have a mirror. Ooh, I, I like this See? Sack. See, look at that pincher being tapped. I knew it. Mm. <laughs> pincher is now under control, officially. <laughs> At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player taps. What? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you gotta you tap to, four things on your upkeep, basically. Land, so Elspeth to the, conquers death doesn't count. Yeah, non enchantments or planeswalkers, essentially. But it fades. It fades away, so it's oh, going to uh, get less and less effective. All right, dope. Mm-mm. Does it affect you? It does, right? Yeah. Yeah, it hits everyone. It was printed in the 90s. That was when hate cards were symmetrical and hit everyone. <laughs> if it was 2020, it would just hit your opponent. It was a different sure. time. <laughs> Draw you two cards on the way out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. I thought it was pinching time. What happened? Yeah, what happened to your... your your? Why is your token... Oh, it got there? exiled. Oh, I didn't. I don't think people noticed, but my summoning station got exiled, and then my Felden got exiled. So, <laughs> change of plans. Wait, how did um, the summoning station get exiled? Oh, uh, Elspeth, Elspeth, crazy, Elspeth. crazy how, how that <laughs> happened. Really bizarre. That... Okay, but tell me, can you say that you didn't that those cards didn't need to be answered? Not the pincher. <laughs> the pincher. <laughs> I don't know. I see Bruno <laughs> Clad. I see so something here, that here, here's power creep. I we paid have seven station. mana to make a two-two. What do you mean? Or Seth's land drop for Field of the Dead. <laughs> well, okay. I, I dealt with both, did I not? I dealt with the land drop, I dealt with the reanimation land, and I dealt with the pinching station. <laughs> Richard, can you please <laughs> help us out? All right, who you want me to attack? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm all for it, let's go. <laughs> Your turtle doesn't even fly, why? <laughs> it swims, what do you want? It's a turtle. <laughs> I want it to fly. <laughs> it does look like a phoenix if you, like, bend your head slightly. <laughs> No blocks. <laughs> you deserve it. Rude. Rude. <laughs> Tolbert. I feel like Elspeth Conquers. Elspeth <laughs> Conquers Zest feels really good. I don't know why that. It, it seems like good. it should probably see more play. Yeah. I, I played in my Alela deck, but I mean, you can figure out why, right? I mean, it's. <laughs> no surprise. Yeah, it definitely there. fits the theme of that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'll play this. Oh wait, are we getting taxed? Are we getting taxed next turn? Man. Well, mm. I can mostly play around a back to basics. Can't even play. Mm. Oh boy, I cannot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please no. Turn back to basics into a, a, an artifact and then mechanize production. That Whenever one. Whenever creature and opponent attacks, if you're a defending player, create an ogre. It's all oh. ogre now. It is. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> How many things do I need to tap? Uh, four. Four. Four things? That's so much. Yeah, but next next turn cycle will only be three. I, I suggest you tap the Lotus Field. No, yeah. incorrect. That is, that is, <laughs> that's like the most incorrect option <laughs> of the options. Fine. Shadow Spears tapped, but I don't like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Elspeth conquers death. Now that's a magic card. Uh, too bad I don't have anything to get back with this ECD. Hey, does anybody want to attack me? I at least get a 1-1 one, one counter. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. I guess I should do something, right? Yeah. Haven't you done enough? Good, I guess. Haven't you done enough? No. <laughs> this might be yeah. the first time Armored Rural Turtle does combat damage in the history of magic. <laughs> Just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> the first time caught on camera. <laughs> At least. <laughs> must. Uh, Tomer has a 5 4. I don't want to give Tomer a 3 3. You have a 1 6. I've already done enough to Seth. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Krim. <laughs> but also, your boy needs to gain some life. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> the turtle block would gain you life. Uh, you don't then, know what? It's the speed pump. I can have four mutagenic growths. <laughs> <laughs> I do Invigorate, think mutagenic growth gotcha. I do think Richard's ahead, right? He has seven uh, yeah, cards. Richard's at no. seven cards, but like, what am I like? Are you gonna tell me that I should attack into the one six? I, I can see why you would think that, but the viewers know. <laughs> I, I, I too would think I would be further ahead with this. Don't well, you lie to us. The Richard. rest of it, you have more cards than the rest of us combined. So, oh yes. yes. <laughs> I because do. you know what fact. you're also gonna we, draw more cards each time you cast something with vanishers vanquishes banner yep that is also true <laughs> <laughs> you're literally <laughs> ahead um this makes me think it, of that it would SpongeBob be a very meme. interesting thing to dissect if you knew the contents of everyone's heads if i'm actually <laughs> further ahead or not i think it's close <laughs> i literally okay, wait, just so think of that, that this turn. Oh, wait, oh, wait, what tax right we have ecd non-creature spell oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah two yeah, mana yeah, yeah. Two additional mana. One, two, three, four, five. Or oh, I can play my commander. Maybe I should play my commander. Whoa. At this table? <laughs> it's not even no. a turtle. I yeah, know. not a turtle. Yeah, don't you don't even card. draw a card. Throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. <laughs> that doesn't I seem like... I really do much. Okay, I'll just play my commander. So it should say something. Yeah. <laughs> that I have seven cards in hand and I decided to pay six mana for my commander. <laughs> uh-huh, Richard. Uh-huh. Next also because plays. you haven't you haven't been forced to do anything yet. Ah, uh, you too have been reading YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, Richard. <laughs> That's just how it always goes. Hey, I was forced to tap my turtle, okay? I'm very sad. Oh, oh, oh. That that's painful. I, Wait. The, it, 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 solidarity with the pincher, I understand. <laughs> did you attack somebody or did you tap that? No, I had to tap it for the Oh. <laughs> for the for the tango wire. Yeah. Well, I should have tapped a land because I'm ending up with mana great mana for no reason. Seth, you should actually like do something. Yeah, like I play, agree. Play, I would play love to. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Seth, you're supposed to like, cast things, not not cast things. I don't. I, Why did you cast this like game? Seth, Seth, you're a big going content on creator. You should know these things. <laughs> it's it's kind of right. like I got wrath and double strip mind. <laughs> okay, the the double strip mind and the wrath. You can't tell me those didn't need to happen. I didn't want to get rid of the Gaddic Teague though. I'll let you know that now. If it weren't for the mom and like everything else and the the fiend artisan, like oh yeah, I mean I don't think it was it was I don't think it was the the wrong thing to do. It probably I think it was probably correct, but and I hard like like I just straight up exiled Felden, so you know like none of that nonsense <laughs> anymore. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Tober. And summoning station, even <laughs> just in case the pinchers were gonna <laughs> yeah, just... be too much. Rise of the pinchers, <laughs> the most expensive tutu I've ever paid in my life. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're. I mean, I hope not. Are you playing the what is it? The scourge card, the one one for like nine mana. Uh, do I don't you, know. <laughs> do you know the Do you know the card I'm talking about? It's from Scourge. Uh, it's oh. dwarf. And then un- yeah. like, it's like nine scornful, mana. Scornful egotist, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight um, mana, one, one, I think. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like the worst Momier hit. That's why I know that card. I guess I just play my commander. Seems fine. Oh. Now you can make everything into a pincher. <laughs> the, so the picture's not is. even a, an artifact, I'll have you know. Yeah, it's just colorless. It's the colorless creature. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. <laughs> I got confused. It's a colorless Sorry. creature. <laughs> Mono confused me. Man. <laughs> but did you see that station? <laughs> that station was just going to spawn pinchers. Uh, I may uh, choose a token you control. Oh, oh, wait. How does this work again? Okay. So you may choose a token you control. If you do, yeah. each other token becomes a copy of that token. Okay. Yeah, so they could all be talismans. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Richard, do you want to trade? No. Um, thanks do not. for your kind offer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're at 47 life, Grim. I, I get it. <laughs> How did he get? Oh, Shadow Spear. The Shadow Spear. <laughs> I'm like, why is he so high? Uh, okay. All right. So there's a lot of fish going on. It's very fishy over here. 
What what do you think I'm up to? Uh, Nothing, because you exiled my cool (laughs) cards. (laughs) I answered it for you. (laughs) <laughs> Wait, but you, you just get a free Fisher return, and then if you Rass, you get like a whales? bajillion. Sure, yeah, you're, I think you're in pretty good shape, actually, Tomer. I think Tomer's winning. By does this, a doesn't Richard amount? have seven cards in hand? Please, but you have seven. You have seven fish on the battlefield almost. Richard's gonna cast come Krakens. Richard's gonna whales. cast a bunch of turtles, and then Azuri's gonna yeah. turn them into <laughs> actual game winning <laughs> hey, punches hey, hey, in the hey. face. <laughs> <laughs> They're already game winning. <laughs> I do like Tangle Wire with equipment. So that kind of seems like interesting tech for like an equipment deck. He's just throwing a Tangle Wire and like, oh, I just tap my equipment. <laughs> yeah, it's good if you can get it down quickly enough. Hey, Tomer. It loses a little value and everyone has a million extra permanents. Yes, Krim. Are you going to exile my board, Krim? Is that what you want to do, Krim? <laughs> <laughs> oh, settle the wreckage would be hilarious. <laughs> No, no. It's the winds of abandon, Krim. So I'm gonna do winds of abandon, make Krim. <laughs> no, because I gotta resolve it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you know, I feel I feel like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass. Wait, what? Did you, hmm. you didn't get back anything with uh, suspicious? Elsa no, I didn't have anything. <laughs> oh, what if you discarded something with Vegeta? And then you You're right. Back. Right, right. If I would have discarded some creatures or something like that, or yeah, any, yeah, that would be sick. That'd be that sick. would be dope. <laughs> that would be very dope. Correct. That'd be ill. That'd be super <laughs> illmatic, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> very good album. Underrated. Some some would say. <gasps> oh, oh! I have a story. I have a story. Uh, Nos played at my uh, university. Ooh. Just a random fact. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, yeah, it was very strange. It was my first year of university, York University represent, by the way. And uh NOS is like the main attraction for the first year. It was like during Frosh Week or whatever. And uh yeah, he played he played at, our, at uh my university. Um it wasn't great. It seemed like he was <laughs> Really, there just to cash a check, um, <laughs> wow. and and a lot of people were telling him to to play the song Ether, but he kept saying no, he can't because of lawyers. Um, so that was fun, <laughs> and I'm sure nobody got those references. Maybe maybe a couple people will uh, in the comment section. Uh, let me know. Show me some love there. Uh, yeah, really. The but first two albums still fantastic. Still hold up really great. So if you don't even know who Nas is. Uh, check him out. He's he's underrated. I would say. I just wanted, little known little known artist out there. I want to just verify something here. Is that a civic ascendancy? Can anyone deal with that? Oh 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 no no! no. But I thought Richard isn't the threat. I thought he was just I playing a bunch of Richard goofy cards with uh, Azuri <laughs> and six cards in hand and a big card draw engine. And no, it's twenty fine. turns or it takes so many counters. Board. It takes so many counters. To Richard, matter. you have a counter spell, don't you? Because why are you conveniently leaving up blue and blue? <laughs> oh, you know me. I'm just a typical blue player. I just leave up mana no matter what. <laughs> oh, uh, what should I put counters on? Does it matter? Uh, it, it will matter when Tomer goes off and makes a ton of fish. Uh, I want to pop the turtle, but our KO Mancer Doesn't Richard have a you win the game card on the battlefield? Am I still the baddie here? No, it's a you, you win the game card that's going to take, like, ten turns to actually matter. But Azuri is going to go off! But I think, I think, my concern is that I feel like the fish clock is faster than the Simic Ascendancy clock. Mm. Like, I think I die quicker to fish, fish and faster. whales than, than Simic Ascendancy. Did he not just tutor up a, did he not just put Mystical Tutor back in his hand? I'm sure he has something. Something brewing. Do you know? I? Is it a way to kill the board? (laughs) That'd be very cool. What if I told you that my deck doesn't have a way to (laughs) deal with multiple creatures, that I need to chain together enough turtles to put up a formidable blocking wall? So it's not turtle power? But I I have not drawn turtles. You would think, like, these past ten cards I've drawn would contain (laughs) turtles, but uh, we we are lacking in the turtle department here. Everything's coming up, turtles. I am literally 
just playing a bunch of lands. So <laughs> <laughs> you have shit nanigans. You have two cards in hand. Untap. That's because mana. I need to threaten the board wipe. <laughs> oh no! That is, what is this that is not good. Let's say like it's a tutor. It's uh, when this creature dies, you tutor anything, and you put oh. it directly onto the battlefield. Oh, any onto the battlefield. Anything. Uh, if it makes you feel better, my my creatures aren't that good. So, but if it gets exiled, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, that is all. <laughs> that is also what true. Does have here? Am I? <laughs> I'm feeling oh. a settle the wreckage, but I mean that's pretty ambitious. Like, Leave me alone, Chris. Why Leave would that alone? be Just... ambitious? <laughs> Just wrath with your commander. That's fine. No, there's gonna be a bunch uh, of six sixes. I don't think you want a tutor for a creature and give Tober like a million six sixes, unless you have a creature that rats on ETB. Well, I mean, can't Krim just like wrath and then wrath and then wrath? I, I need four <laughs> cards for that to happen. He doesn't have enough cards nor mana to make that happen, right? Well, I can wrath at the end of Tomer's turn. Oh, and then, oh that's right. Yeah. But then I would be out to. I would have no cards, right? Yeah, yeah, that is that is a problem. Gain a life. Oh my goodness. Oh, adventure sphere. All right. Can you tutor? What do you need? You don't need anything. You tutor whenever you want. Yeah. What, what do I want though? Let me wrath check. Protection. Exile protection. Exile protection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, wrath protection doesn't even work because he has a shadow spear. <laughs> I guess you get the fairy's protection your way out. I would I would have tutored for the Mr. Pinchy, but all my dreams <laughs> have been dashed. Uh, <laughs> uh, There's got to be a mechanized production somewhere in your deck. Yeah, but I can't find that with. Uh, yeah, not with Inventor's Fair, Fair but like. <laughs> all right, let's let's start with. Hmm. Uh, uh, well, it'd be fun. Uh, I mean, what other artifacts could you have? You can have good artifacts. You could go tutor for it. You, I mean, you must have cauldrons somewhere in the deck. <laughs> Why would you even <laughs> say there's, such a there's thing? There's always a cauldron. Yeah, there's got to be a cauldron, right? Uh, what makes a big token? You know what? You know what? I don't. I don't want to think. How about that? What if I just wanna just wanna do? All right, let's let's just draw a card. From what? Oh, <laughs> Firely is lit. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Now I don't have to think about what I can tutor. Oh dear. Uh, Fabricate something good. No. <laughs> Fabricate's still still a tutor. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh. no. Ooh. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> I don't know Everybody, what this does. I, I but... think we got to get six sixes on board. <laughs> this is, let's do this, then. Wait, it's not... It isn't a legendary. If the... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Are you gonna wrath now, Krim? Uh, it's gonna be really bad if you don't. Give yeah, it, then uh, Seth gets whatever he wants. So you get what two mirror, and then yikes! No, so if you yeah. wrath now, he has three six sixes. If you wrath later, he has at least five six sixes. How's that's the mono white deck the one that's supposed to be responsible? <laughs> Is it, isn't that I like mean, your problem? commander is a, <laughs> a wrath. All right. Well. Oh, your hand wasn't very good anyway. I what was path it? To exile. Path to exile. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we just got to be some six sixes. <laughs> Alright. What, what a set tutor. Wait. Well, yeah. What the set tutor for? It's, I really don't have anything that's. Man. Super exciting. If you just get like a Shriekma and kill my Medigita, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> it's, no, it's definitely not that. I need something that'll draw me cards, I think. Some sort of card advantage. Um, Can you get it something that blows up Helm of the Host? Bane of Progress? Oh, think, I don't have Bane of Progress. You would embarrass me. You would... 
you blow up the, the shadow spear, but you, oh no. <laughs> but like, think about it. If you have something, you can get rid of Simic Ascendancy, the banner, the helm of the host, Bane. <laughs> I think we just, I think we probably just do this. Ah. Uh... Uh, the recursion <laughs> never ends, oh, no, dude. The journey to eternity. He just gets a silliness. He gets a journey, and it's never ends. <laughs> oh come on! You you have three sun titans in the form of whales or whatever they are. That doesn't count, and you know it. <laughs> uh I can't do anything now. Well, that was cool. Can you bounce that, Richard? Oh, so, oh, Seth has a creature, so now everyone's wait, wait. everyone's up in arms. Seth has a single <laughs> creature. <laughs> wait, so when he returns it, it just attaches. It doesn't target, right? It does. Yeah. If Sun Titan is so, not on the battlefield, then, then it just it goes by rapid hybridization, it he can attach the the journey onto the frog, and there's right. no way uh, to stop this. Yeah, that is that's true. fine. I mean, it's better that than, because, like, I know that for a fact, unless you can actually kill this, we're in trouble, right? Because that's a Sun Titan that just keeps attacking. Yeah, it's better than a Sun Titan, but hmm, this is oh my not God. as ideal <laughs> as it could have been. Well, if you bounce wow. the Frog Lizard now. Well, we just make sure we don't do that. <laughs> <sighs> wait, wait, wait. So, Tomer has... A board full of fish and helm of the host. Richard has a win condition. Grim has a wrath every turn. And I play one creature and we got to deal with it immediately. Yeah, it's so. Sun Titan. <laughs> After not playing any cards for like five turns. <laughs> to, be fair, threat assessment. to be fair, your, your initial whale. start was very scary, Seth. Mr. Field of the Dead. That's... Until the first wrath, that's true. I actually did things. But then since the wrath, I haven't done anything <laughs> in like five or six turns. Welcome to the club, Seth. My board's you gonna got get... a bunch of fish in a hell with a host. <laughs> it's going to be gone this turn cycle, knowing how this game has gone. And then Rich is going to win with Simic Ascendancy. Calling it now, One friends. out of 20. <laughs> Called shot. <laughs> Called shot. The board gets wrath. And then, then Richard just wins with Simic Ascendancy. It's like I have a no two-power creature on the board. <laughs> it's a 20-turn clock. I'm coming for you. We're online. Oh. I oh, that's Ooh, that is this other one here? Oh, Crim's going to meld it. Yeah. Well, that'd actually be kind of sweet. I haven't seen a Brunella or whatever it is in a long time. Look, Richard, <laughs> I'm, not trying to give, I'm not trying to give Seth a, a journey to whatever party island. And I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably not blocking these whales. So. <laughs> <laughs> you gained some life though oh I would <laughs> wait yes come on give me a turtle come on deck <laughs> I just want a turtle uh, how much does Azuri cost <laughs> what, what do you, is you have six cards you have six cards and no turtles <laughs> what are you that, doing that is a, that is a good question guys i too want to know the answer <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing i mean <laughs> he's just gonna cast the, the draw x thing again i think it oh wait no he, itself, oh, right? he, he exiled it yeah, yeah, yeah he still has a mystical tutor though right yeah what are you gonna tutor for richard On another creature <laughs> why didn't you, you miss it's an instant resource wait why did you mystical tutor on your upkeep there's nothing to tutor for. <laughs> I, I, wanted to draw, I wanted to draw a turtle to which you can. I can only mystical <laughs> tutor for instant or sorcery. You're telling me you have a mystical tutor and you can't get anything. <laughs> Is your deck that janky, Richard? Don't you lie to me, Richard. Don't I want you. turtles. <laughs> There's no instant or sorcery turtle. <laughs> it can't be that bad. Wait, this doesn't, this doesn't even do anything because there's a shadow spear, but okay. <laughs> I have haste now. I mean, that's on Krim to activate it, right? Yeah. You could attack me. Hmm. I think I will decline. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gonna right, go Frog Lizard. <laughs> frog Lizard reads unblockable. <laughs> <laughs> To oh, me. someone will someone will block it, right? You yeah. could gain life with your Gisela, Grim. You need you could be almost to fifty. 
I mean, if you had something like a Bane of Progress, I would say yes. But as I see that you don't, <laughs> that card is going to attack every time and not get blocked. However, well, it's probably better that you leave it as a defender, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. Commander type? Yeah. Well, I guess we do. But boy, it is really hard to activate a <laughs> Tiama. I'm realizing now that that is not an easy thing to do to get three counters on the battlefield. <laughs> well, it looks a little worse when there's like a board wipe every turn, right? Or there's every literally a Vegeta turns. the Lion on the battlefield just being like, hey, bro, <laughs> that's a cool... It's a cool thing you yeah, want that, to have that on the battlefield. That has sat out for literally the entire game. I think Krim played it on, like, turn four or something, and it's just sat there the entire game. Yeah. Choosing... I, I thought it's only two now. Oh, okay. Or one. It's only one now. Yeah. yeah. We're down. We're almost done. I have to press okay. Ha 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 ha. Good times. Um. <laughs> 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 That's uh, actually a good time for Temple of the Falls. I guy. mean, it's a perfect time. I probably shouldn't have played this Gisela. <laughs> Why? They hold on to it for a wrath. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering that if you held, if you would hold on to cards to try to wrath again or play them. Here we go. You might have gotten punished by drawing a good card. If yeah. you draw a land, it would have been easier to like hold on right. to. <laughs> I've been so used to just drawing lands all game. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> I can do something. Oh. Uh, so this is uh, just. A I feel like this is going to be power. This is going to be really bad. Yeah. Yep. Okay. How do I? I'm telling uh, you, Seth. You're telling me you didn't have anything to blow up an artifact or enchantment. Let's copy this. I uh, guess I don't get another trigger uh, on Brutal Cloud, though. I got. I got nothing going on, Cram. I have, I no, have no, no. When you went many, tutored. many turns. When you Skinny went tutored. Then you may choose a token. Oh. Well, I, I mean, yeah, I guess I could have got like Knight of Autumn or something, but Wee. I wanted to, I wanted to do things. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I wanted to do things. It is my time to do things, friends. And you don't have set all the records mana up. No, I do not. You can attack me yeah, if you want with oh, one no, of them. That's a misdemeanor. I'm down with that. Please, I'll, <laughs> I'll spread the love. <laughs> 18 at me. All right. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> You're a 45. So I'm just bringing you back down to a respectable range, and I'm hitting. I'm hitting Richard, and I can't hit Seth because of the stupid journey to eternity. Uh, is this frog lizard just gonna hold down the board against the whole <laughs> ocean good? full of whales? <laughs> okay. I mean, it turns on okay. your. Well, I guess. I guess you, you get sun titan back. Yeah. Yeah, I get sun titan, which gets whatever. Nonsense. <laughs> How old the hell is that? pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty good when no one kills it. Yeah, I like it. Wait, where's the other Brutaclad? He's a whale. It's now a whale, yeah. Oh, it's a whale, right. He's just whaling around. He's <laughs> he's whaling on me. All right, cool. So Krim needs some white card draw to be able to wrath again. <laughs> I guess I guess maybe so I could have... good luck. It could have been all a copy of the non-legendary Brutaclad. That could have been interesting. Maybe that's a thing. But then, oh, yeah, that, but then I don't get the tokens. I have to wait another turn to get the tokens. But the next turn is going to be really crazy. Yeah, but then the, that means I get board wiped by Magita. <laughs> that's what that means. Krim needs cards, though. That's the. I don't think Krim has the cards to do it. He needs to hit card draw to be able to wrath. It's true. I guess I had a window here. I could have. I could have went for a big old. Big old Brutaclad <laughs> turn. Clads. I don't know. I feel like maybe, maybe it will also screw up and then all the Brutaclads would die. Okay. Oh, Never mind. Off the what top. A top deck. Off the top. <laughs> Did I no scope? Wow. Did I no scope? Oh, Does wow. this resolve? Let this, this is... resolve. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tower, no! <laughs> Swan song? I'm no tapping way. out. Out of disgust. Oh, oh I did it. so I did it. bad. I did it, Ma. I no scoped. Oh, boy. And also, since the creature didn't die, does that mean you don't get the journey to like whatever eternity? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I will continue to do nothing. That's off <laughs> everything. Got me. That was like actually the silver bullet. <laughs> that, that was disgusting. Sixty nine four twenty no scope. I mean, All right, Doritos. Top gets like eighty lands. 
Oh yeah, because yeah. I have so much stuff to do with all my lands. Oh, you, you just, just wait. This has to be your commander. I'm gonna find my land tax, and you're gonna be in so much trouble. <laughs> yeah, just your commander with Helm of the Host, pretty good. Well, that was nasty. Yeah, that was a that was probably the best possible draw you could have in your entire deck at that point. I think. Oh, okay, okay, Grim. You're at forty. Okay. <laughs> you're at forty, Tomer. I think you're bringing okay. you to a respectable life total. <laughs> End quote. Yeah. You just back hit, at the highest much, life total. How much did you hit me for, Tomer? It doesn't <laughs> like, matter. I'm, you're back at thirty-five. What does it matter how much I hit you for? <laughs> I would have died if I didn't top deck like a pro. <laughs> This is not a turtle. Why is it in the deck? How does the Flash Hulk combo work, guys? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> is it Flash banned? That is true. Uh, oh, is Flash true. Hulk? So Can you actually do it in Simic? I, well, the, I don't like, can you I have a Protean Hulk in here. Is it just for value? It might just be for value. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could grab oh, a lot of turtles. You're the turtles. Oh, your turtles have zero power, a lot of them. So you can get... No, it's converted you can get a cost. taunt. Is, uh, maybe there's low CMC turtles. And you just get um, a lot. I mean, there are some. <laughs> but then... what does How does Azuri read? Where's my commander? <laughs> He's dead again. Well, I but dead. I helped you all out because I gave you all a ton of lands. So I just deck thinned hardcore. <laughs> You're actually with zero Thanks, cards in hand, Graham. somehow ahead. I'm not ahead. <laughs> yeah, you like, have I'm not eight ahead. eight life link on the board. That, yeah, but what am I gonna like do? Like <laughs> kill like, people not... with damage? Uh, life totals are pretty high. Everyone's only got four commander damage each. I've been spreading the love around. I've been a friend, by the way. Just letting you all know. Been a friend. <laughs> I'm. Honestly, though, like, look, sometimes when a friend goes a little wild, you gotta, you gotta keep him in check, so. <laughs> Haste Hexproof. It doesn't help with a shadow. I'm just gonna leave this here. Richard, Richard, why have you not hit anybody? <laughs> I have to block Magenta. <laughs> what the, the, I'm not <laughs> Mag Magenta. Magenta. It's, it's Magenta, it's Magenta right? <laughs> No, ma Magenta. It's, it's not Magenta. It's <laughs> definitely Magenta. Magenta. <laughs> <laughs> you see he has the, he has the visor and everything to read power levels it's Magita. <laughs> is that even a visor it's canon <laughs> <laughs> i just want to build this deck now because it's magita <laughs> you need to have it You're, altered uh, is it it is magetta though <laughs> <laughs> and he even has uh what's what's that beam he shoots to destroy the world <laughs> That's his activated ability. It's like Destructo Beam or something. That's that's Krillin. Whatever. It's a beam. He did garlic gun. You, he garlic, runs, <laughs> garlic gun. He shoots a garlic gun. Oh, you're right. You're. I do remember garlic gun in Dragon Ball. That was one of my favorite. Movies. It was against against Goku. He was like, ah, well, you cut off my tail, so I'm going to blow up the world. Bleh, garlic gun. <laughs> garlic gun. <laughs> Look, I, who is the doctor of anime here? That is true. That is true. That is true. That is true. Thank Did you. Did you know that technically Krillin is the most powerful human? I think, like, yeah, yeah, she is. Because everybody else like, cheats. Like, no, everyone else is. Everyone's not. A, everyone else is like not a human. Yeah, everybody else is always cheating. What's this nonsense of like, oh, if you beat me up, I'm only going to get stronger. That's not how it works. If you break yeah. your bones. It's going to be weaker stronger. when it heals. <laughs> no, the bone is stronger. Are you a doctor or not? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait, wait, how does this work? Create a token uh, to copy the creature. Oh, I don't want that. You can alt F4. Oh, okay. <laughs> As <Thanks>. always. <laughs> I want to crack. So this, this inventor sphere has forever taunted me because... I want to crack it, and I'm sure there's, like, something good that, like, the viewers are yelling at me to get, but, like, I don't know what the cards are in my deck, so I'm not going to do it for a while until I have to. Come can on, we, Richard! Can we please deal with that helm? <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> thank <laughs> you! Nonsense. Sweet baby Richard, thank you! <laughs> Man. <I'm a> beast. <laughs> do you see how much man I spent on all that? You oh, you can it. turn it all into Hasty Beast. Wait, yeah. hold on. That's a Hasty Beast token. What? <laughs> you want a Hasty Beast or you want a Hasty Buddha Clan <laughs> I, I want it all. 
Richard, I want it all. I want you to answer everything except my stuff. <laughs> Actually, though, in I two turns, just, mark my just, words. In two turns, kill kill the Project Hulk, and you'll see the true power of the turtles. <laughs> I feel like we will, though. <laughs> you still have. Wait, where did this mirror come from? Oh wait, his his command. Oh, does man. things. <laughs> this board is still so good. <laughs> what do you mean it's so good? I spent all my mana to do this. I spent all my mana, and I just get an Azuri that dies every turn. It does nothing. <laughs> I just want my land tax. <laughs> Please give me land tax. I could use those additional lands. Oh, because you can discard them to Magetta. 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 <laughs> Magetta. <laughs> Darn you, Kakarot. <laughs> that is correct. Kakarot is correct. What was what was incorrect? Garlic gun? It's garlic I'm gun! Sure. You know, like, all the names in Dragon Ball are food. Uh, are, like, yeah, food, so, right? so, so it it's not, this is even infeasible to me. Garlic, that the is garlic gun. gun. All right, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. It's apparently garlic gun, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, I think my version of it was actually better. It's more in, in theme of, like, he's called a vegetable. He's Vegeta. He's a vegetable. So wouldn't it make more sense? That his signature shot was a garlic gun? Because that's okay, also a vegetable. Is garlic a vegetable? What is garlic? I think is so. Is garlic a vegetable? <laughs> it it grows count? from the soil. It's a root, I believe. It's, so It's a root? So do I don't know. trees grow in the soil. They're not vegetables. <laughs> no, but okay. What, what, what are onions? Are, it's are garlic onions a vegetable. It's a, it's a species of onion. All right. Uh, uh-huh. Onion genius. Uh-huh. Uh, is this tango wire done? Look, it's a vegetable. If it's not a right? vegetable, what is it? That's the that's the other question. Like, what other options are there? It's definitely not a fruit. What? what? Really? Okay. Well, I, I guess uh, it's sure. a, I guess it's I'm the only really one you can really attack. It's an but. allium. Right. It's a genus uh, of the mono chi- monotyledinous flowering plants. Oh, it's, it's a, a flower. Plant. What? Okay. Is it a vegetable or no? I don't know. <laughs> What is a vegetable? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, does that, uh, no, no, I don't know. It doesn't say. Just tell me if it's a vegetable or not, Wikipedia. I, I, I feel it's a vegetable. A fruit is like something that grows on oh, the flower on me. to reproduce, Dang, it's- right? This is something like you're eating its roots. <laughs> you're not eating like its flowers. It's got to be a vegetable. I think it's a vegetable. Uh- Unless there's like a third class of things that we're not aware of. If, if <laughs> it's be- neither fruit nor vegetable. <laughs> if any viewers are... Uh- you know, vegetableologists. You know. <laughs> Let us Vegetable. know. <laughs> if any of your viewers are Vegetas. Okay. Yeah, if, Vegetas. If, if Vegeta is in the chat, please let us know if your garlic gun is actually a vegetable. All right. Uh, 18 turns. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to stop the Civic Ascendancy? I don't want to lose to Civic Ascendancy. No one. No one. <laughs> you all will die to no Civic one. Ascendancy. <laughs> You it's the year of civic. You can't What's stop my it? huge board? <laughs> you it's, could just attack Richard. This is gonna get board wiped next turn by Krim. I mean, I would like to. Trust <laughs> me. Don't get me wrong. I would love to deal with that simic ascendancy, but I think that Richard's holding on to something. Yeah, he would. Uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, if we all attack Richard, but. The issue is that everybody has three threes, and that's a seven seven hole. Well, mm-hmm. I wanna, I don't wanna find. Let's, let's, if you, if you need I me to, I, I can it? like remove the hex proof. That I can do, <laughs> but that's. <laughs> I don't think killing the Hulk actually helps though, because then he gets a whole bunch of turtles. Probably <laughs> true. I mean, the simic ascendancy is what I want to get rid of. I want to show. So there's there's this whole thing on like a prop like a on a on a card that can possibly break Moto, but it's way too long, man, and it uses so much math. What does D <laughs> underscore N? What about D underscore N is the beginning of a paragraph? Like I'm gonna just show it. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it here. Chat. Look look at this. Look at this. Not chat viewers. I have no. Look at how I much no I have to idea. deal with. You think I'm gonna read this? It's fantastic that it exists, but please. <laughs> so what you're saying is you don't know how to break Moto. I don't know how, how if garlic is a vegetable, and I don't know if I can break <laughs> Moto with this card. 
I tried to look in. <laughs> so into when, the... when Tomer asks, did we break it? Tomer genuinely is asking because <laughs> yes. he is not sure. Did we actually break it? <laughs> I really don't know, this guys. Is a, Please let me know. a serious inquiry. <laughs> Please did let me break know. It? <laughs> I think whether onion is a fruit or a vegetable depends on the context. That's what I found in my my research in the last couple minutes. Some, so sometimes it is, but other times it's not. Is so it like Schrodinger's you... vegetable? Like, it depends yeah. if you look at it or not, it's a vegetable or not? Yeah. You have to look deep Basically. within yourself and go on a, a journey to figure it out. The ve- vegetables were the friends we made along the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, I might actually do something with my commander for the first time ever. Oh, Boom. God. Combo. Why is it a combo? <laughs> it has two plus one plus one counters. No, oh. wait, can you just please kill the Civic Ascendancy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have to activate my commander. You want to it's only got two counters. It's so many <laughs> counters on it. Wait, he has it's three. so so far three. away. Wait, wait, so it's three for each activation, right? And he has 14, 15 mana. So you can do it five times. Oh, you need to get 20. Okay, but I mean, That's it's getting not there. Very difficult. Keep trying. I'm trying to. Can you make the math work for me? Can you triple my mana? <laughs> I don't know. You have two cards in hand. Seth, you know I'm going to board wipe anyways. <laughs> Are you going to board wipe? You don't. <laughs> oh, Krim wouldn't, Krim wouldn't do that to me. When We're friends. He fun titan for a field of the dead, and then he's a business. I can't stun. I can only get back. Uh, three CMC or less things. Oh, you mean I see what you're saying. Not get back Sun Titan, do it directly. Hmm. Um, what do we do here? I think we just pass. Well, that's boring. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, Not I blowing up the ascendancy. I already played my native autumn and put counters on it. So <laughs> can you that, imagine that ship if is I had sailed. a game, I can remove counters off to make ascendancy. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> that combo. That power. <laughs> um, wait, can we do this? One, two, three. One, two. Uh, hmm. All right. Yeah, we're going to pass. That's it. Night of Autumn. <laughs> Commander All-Star. That was great. That was really impressive what you did there. <laughs> I know. But I'm just excited because I actually have three counters, so I can... I can do more things now, maybe. <laughs> for you. <laughs> it's finally coming together for T- TIM. <laughs> it took 13 turns, but it's doing something. Everything's finally coming up, Seth. Uh, so I really, I really didn't want to crack this in Adventures Fair because I have no idea. Honestly, this is not my deck. I did not invent it. <laughs> and- it's an archive. There is no Hedron... Okay, if there was a Hedron Archive, I would have banned this deck. It would have been gone. <laughs> been blacklisted. Oh, is that... That's actually kind of a good question. Is there any card that if you see in a deck, you'll just automatically ex- exclude from viewer submitted week? Hedron Veil Archive. Would you really do that, Tomer? <laughs> like, you, if you see a Hedron Archive, you just cross it off the list? Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> it's out. Like most, if, I, if I see Nissa or Veil of Summer, I usually just don't play it. <laughs> I'm already cautious of green. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, man. And then there's like Crim's just gonna wipe the board, so I can't get a creature because that that would be fun. But Crim doesn't like fun. Um, I I I am I am all about fun actually. <laughs> so what do we get here? That Something is... that deals with Simic ascendancy. Hmm. I can't or... deal with some. Oh. <laughs> or uh... you. You bounce the commander, uh, tie him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, leave my tie him alone. Oh, it's been this waiting is good. 13 turns to do something. Wee. This seems fine. What did you get? I, uh, what, nice. what did we get? Oh, mm-hmm. worm coil. Ooh, worm okay. coil. Okay. Oh, that's good against wraths. That is. I mean, that's a die first, but. Like, <laughs> what wrath does to creatures? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I didn't know what to get, honestly. So it seems, it seems like that means choice. Tomer's got all the good artifacts in hand. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. It could have gotten like I don't know, maybe like a Lithothorm engine seemed good. You have enough mana to do stuff with it. Yeah, let's get that. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm. Why is there so much mm hawing? Mm. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Interesting, Interesting, Tomer. Interesting. What? I'm so scared. Uh, Watch Richard win with Simic Ascendancy somehow this turn. It's gonna happen. He has, <laughs> he has a lot of mana. He doesn't have a lot of mana up. He can activate it a few times. I'm gonna go to combat. That's the cheapest way to like double or triple your mana. Nissa? What if I play a Nissa? Krim's favorite card. I I would have to immediately. <laughs> <laughs> um, would I be able to win? No. I would go all out of my. <laughs> I'd go out of my way to make sure to kill Richard. You can't win yet. You've only played one one turtle. Well, I guess horn turtle, so two. Yeah, I haven't seen that many there's, turtles. There's a, there's there, the, the turtle density is not as high as I would hope. There's a lot of just like random cards to make non, the deck non turtles. <laughs> but wait, oh. wait, what's that? You're attacking me. Oh, I can't Seth. attack anybody else. Seth's ooh. on the clock. <laughs> Seth's on the clock. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What? This is the dream. No, what? Why? So we get what? To- yeah, now he gets to bring something back. What? And so he's going to, example, he's going to bring back the enchantment that he's going to block. Oh! Oh, nobody told Yay! me that he had I actually, I, it was kind of sitting on the battlefield, but yeah. you are correct. <laughs> oh, this, so oh, you, no, I, oh, my goodness, I'm so bad. I right, never mind. That's fine. Uh, oh. Oh, using my point of view is going to suck this week. <laughs> can, can you sacrifice the token? <laughs> no, I just realized there's other cards that I can do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, beans. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, and the strip mine's gone now, too? Okay, okay things enough. are things might be looking up in tie world. <laughs> Seth gets a Sun Titan later. Oh, uh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, next turn is Sun there. Titan time. I don't know how much of a later there's going to be this game, though. I feel like both Richard and and Tomer are like kind of close to winning. Are we though? <laughs> <laughs> are we? I'm literally playing Simic Ascend to see the fairest way possible. <laughs> Spending three mana. Uh, at, at, at least blow up the Simic Ascendancy, please. <laughs> but if I put counters on it, I can activate I've, my commander again. You can, you can reanimate anyways. You All have right. the, the answer the is blow up Shadow Spear. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, think about it. I I have gone out of my way to answer the table, right? 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 right hit it. <laughs> hit the Simic Ascendancy. Oh, no, on, your, your Ascendancy is good. Oh my I'm not worried I, about I it I need yet. you to take the heat <laughs> off me <laughs> so that we can actually cooperate and Man. take out Seth's board here. I can't believe I messed up. I'm curious what was in your hand that was that made that a mess up. It wasn't. It wasn't that. Is it? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, what does this do? Oh no! <laughs> oh Wait, what no! Is, what, that, what does that do? I'm confused. There's like one with the stars makes it, I believe, into uh. uh okay, does... it's an enchantment now. So it then... li- so it lives. So it, it, I can't sweep it away. Right? Yeah, yeah, you can't sweep it. Oh. He doesn't get infinite commanders or anything, right? That wasn't that wasn't my mistake, but it was uh man. Oops. So now every turn Tomer's He com- gets to do his Burglad thing. Yeah. That is kinda good. That's alright. It's okay. <laughs> uh <laughs> Seth does have an engine, by the way. Just sort saying. Of. I mean, that, that's not that's, sort of. He does. I'm the only one that's attacking over here. <laughs> well, I can't attack. Tomer attack. Tomer attack me. I hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hit yeah. <laughs> and not even with the house either. <laughs> if you're gonna attack there, I think you should have just attacked with everybody. But <laughs> uh, do you have to do anything before Krim draws his card? Hmm. All right. I guess. I guess you're. For now. Oof. For now, he says. Oh my god. <laughs> so we need a way to kill a land or exile his graveyard. Well, at least I can just I'm just play this at this point. Deserted temple. Alright. No wrath oh, this turn. So that's, that, that means to get no back. Wrath. 
Oh, it's a, oh, it's mana with Lotus Veil. Cool. Uh, what does this do? Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweet. There's nothing I can really do, especially since we're getting a hmm, we're getting Sun Titan to come back. I don't have a way to deal with the land in my deck. Ooh, I am kind of dying. I'm under 20 now. Who's, who's A little bit. Crim? Mostly Krim, yeah. The deck that constantly keeps doing, like, reoccurring their stuff <laughs> <laughs> is very, very good against the deck that has to discard two and board wipe every turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've discarded a lot of cards to wrap this game. <laughs> Granted that a lot of it has been lands, but... Oh, you're going to play the... Oh. Okay. What does Deserted Temple do in your deck? I'm curious. I usually Wait, only see that with coffers. Lotus, Lotus Field? Lotus Field? Yeah. Oh, I guess that's good. Mystical yeah. Plains, I guess. It's like plus one mana, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, Here no. we go, guys. <laughs> He's going to get close. It's not too far. He's going to be, what, like seven? I, I, I have to get back to my turn as well. Yeah, you do have to get back to your turn with it. Yeah. It's a little hard given that Seth can just reanimate at will over there. <laughs> you can hit for a really big, really big protein hog. That's not nothing. You know? <laughs> I guess you could also, yeah, just attack Seth. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to attack Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a trample? No. But I mean, does this help? No. Not really. <laughs> I guess you can just reanimate anything. Yeah, this doesn't help at all. And then Tomer's got the worm coil. Yes. Yeah, Tomer's got the scariest offensive board at the moment. Yep. Whoa, whoa, I've whoa, had whoa, the whoa. same set whoa, of cards whoa, it had whoa, since whoa. the start of the game. <laughs> Everybody relax. You got rid of Mr. Pinchy. And I'm very upset. You also exiled my Sun Titan? Oh, jeez. <laughs> a lot of things got exiled this game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's a little right. exile spree. Yeah, right. earlier. I think I need a blocker. Should I hit? Okay, if I hit Seth, yeah. he just reanimates something and chumps. Yeah. Well, he can't reanimate now, right? Because that's five mana to reanimate. No, no, three. He just removed three counters off of his. Oh, oh my oh, commander's oh, oh, still yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Seth has us in a pretty good lock here. <laughs> Although, the good news for you is I'm not really reanimating anything very good. It's just like random little creatures. I mean, Sun Titan and Spore Frog every turn is pretty good. Uh, it's all right. So, I think... Oh, he has a Spore Frog. Yeah, this is... Hmm. I think we remove some counters. Wait, and, how, uh, how, how long until Richard wins? Uh, Simic Two more turns, I think. I, I have, let's see, I have 14, 15, 16, I have 17 lands, so uh, five counters, five so counters. I can get 10 counters. Uh, no. no, I can't. Uh, it's literally the of everything I work to get rid of is back. <laughs> it's so miserable. Oh. It comes with a counter on it. The value. Uh, um... Let's see. So, one, two, three, four, four, five. Let's do this. Ooh, what's the right choice? Hmm. Krim's gonna wrath. Actually, you know what? Let's not, let's not do that. That's a little, a little too, uh, a little too greedy. Um, I have no do idea it. what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Cultivate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, we need more lands. <laughs> oh, no, we'd have zombie Dex, Yeah. Winning. No. This is standard all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> it never ends. Make a zombie. When the cards that are supposed to have downside when you draw them late actually just further <laughs> empower your <laughs> game plan. I Wait, mean, we it, are. Hmm. If the Protean Hulk dies and he gets a bunch of stuff that puts counters on things, can't he win? Potentially. 
Yes. But it does need to die. And turtles don't get counters on them, by the way. But if you had something like, <laughs> what is it? The green gear Hulk? That's five counters, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but no, no. Wait, I wonder. It's one or more, uh, though. So, like, if I, if I put five counters on something, that's only one counter on Simic Ascendancy, right? Uh, I think it's one for each counter, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh, it says put that many. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's close to winning. Not gonna lie. If only we had Get some way of blowing it up. Alright, I need to hashtag deck then. Literally doing this. And then are you gonna <laughs> attack Seth? <laughs> I got a zombie it. army. Seth has a zombie army ready to block. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Of double vigilant zombie army. Plus, he can just four frog at will, right? Yeah. That's not great. I got a plan, guys. Just let me get 20 count on Simic Ascension. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good plan. This four frog. <laughs> Alright, this is what I was supposed to do last turn, I think. We just need some graveyard hate. And then Seth to be under control. Uh, I mean, there's a Soul Guy Lantern in the deck. I just don't know where it is. Is there a turtle that does something? ETB. <laughs> <laughs> turtle, turtle. Ooh. Oh. Uh, now he has infinite coils. Oh, that's yeah. That's probably not good for us. It's, it's just insurance. <laughs> it's just insurance. Um. And then this. Is it time? Oh. <gasps> oh boy. Okay. I just want to draw some cards. Everybody, relax. Ooh, someone, someone's gonna be pretty close to dying here. I think so, that's a lot of worm. That's gonna be six worm coils, seven this, worm but coils. It's gonna be a wipe, so I'm not. Um, ignore what I said. Um, Wait, this is upkeep, doctor. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so many worm coils. It's a decent amount of worm coils. <laughs> Spreading the love. I don't need any more love tome, right? I'm Wait, already down to 18. Why wouldn't you want... Oh, I guess, yeah, hold on. Because then Seth could just sack Spore Frog, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, and also, I'm going to see if maybe we can pop the Protein Hulk. Because then it would make the board wipe a little bit stronger. Uh, I guess attacking I Seth is... Uh, well, I do want to gain some life, so I guess. I'll do it like that. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, like, you should probably still, we should still probably make Seth do it, because then he has to reanimate the Spore Frog, as opposed to, you know, just letting him do nothing, <laughs> getting back whatever he wants. Well, I only hit him for a six. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's all of a sudden. <laughs> are we, are we catching in the pro? It's, it's the protein like hall? Commander, uh, Tomer's commander is like a one... One mere army? What is it? An artificer? <laughs> no, one mere army. I like it. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's working, like, though. It's just an I enchantment. Guess, yeah, which is a problem. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just chump, I guess. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tumor's going to gain so much life. Yeah. Yup. <laughs> Draw some cards. And draw some... Oh, dear. Who is winning, Tomer? It's gotta be Tomer. It really depends if Richard could just sneak a victory out. It keeps deflecting to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Every turn, I just add some counters. It has to reel back around to my upkeep. <laughs> Look. Um, oh, this could be fun. Even if we wrath, Tomer still has like a bajillion tokens. It's and they all have haste. So yeah. I need like multiple wraths. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that makes it even harder. Oh, good. I'm just gonna point out that Seth has feel of that, and you hate feel of that. Oh, I I, <laughs> I, I despise this whole board, right? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm everything. done being. The like, I I've been the the helpful player, and what has happened so far? Well, what we need is Seth to reanimate a bane of progress. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be sad. I don't think I have it in my deck, honestly. Or I would love to. What is this? 
Oh, you're just <laughs> Krim, Krim is slowly he's like reverse deck 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 back in there. Yeah, adding <laughs> stuff he, back. He's still like the <laughs> shuffle, right? Like he goes to the bottom. Right, right. You are right. I may as well just do something, right? Um. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yes, keep it going. You'll Value never get filled out. At least that is a never thing. Never ends. <laughs> We've got to find a strip mine for that misfill planes. It's it's going off. It's right? going off. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Insane. <laughs> Expedition map back in the deck. How do we stop this? <laughs> Slowly Allies. but surely, I will eventually get rid of that darn field of the dead. <laughs> uh, that's step one of several. Yeah. It's going to be a long road back, but whatever. <laughs> All right, Krim, you did mention that you wanted to make him use a sport frog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still at a relatively at, healthy 18. At this point, I guess I'm okay with, with Richard getting the win with Civic Ascendancy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Double McCown. Let it be known that Seth could have stopped it, but he didn't. Correct. He can stop it at any time he wants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like literally, any time he wants. <laughs> or can he? Uh, we gotta wait till we get to the nineteen counters. Is there a turtle that stifles? <laughs> no. <laughs> there probably should be though. Yeah, should be. That would like be a good mechanic for turtles. Turtles yeah. just have no abilities. Their abilities defender. <laughs> The high toughness. Um, all right. Wait, you're not wiping the board, Krim? Why would I wipe the board? Hey, hey, hey. Can we? Oh, wait. This is not my commander. I'm like, hmm. wonder if I can one-shot someone with Protean Hulk. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> could almost one-shot me with Protein Hulk at the moment. I'm down to 13. You would for oh, Seth. no. He has a spore frog. Yeah, well, he'd have to <laughs> use it. I don't even know why I'm bothering with this. It's not <laughs> work. It's just wasting <laughs> clock. Well, you do force Seth to use the stuff, right? That's good. That's great. Are you, I want Seth to use there's the stuff six, on Tomer. There's six <laughs> worm coils. Why are my want three zombies a concern? <laughs> <laughs> six. Six worm coils. I've never seen that many before. <laughs> <laughs> can you please kill? <laughs> can you please blow up that thing that makes Brutoclad an, an enchantment? Uh, you know, Richard has a, the win if we don't deal with the Civic Ascendancy. Ah, uh, whatever. Do I, do this I, point. I you have win? blockers for the worm coils. They do not trample. You just I make have more one zombies. Blocker. No, but Seth just makes more zombies. He's fine. He doesn't die to worm coil engine. How many counters are we up to? Thirteen. Yeah, it's literally one more turn it's cycle, 12. and he wins. That's fine. No, I have to do it Richard? before my upkeep. Yeah, like, before if the I do during my upkeep, it doesn't count. Like the, get putting the last counters on. Eight, exactly. 14, 15, 16. Does it? Yeah, I right? think you're still a little bit because it triggers, right? Can't you respond to the trigger? Yes. No. Oh wait, it doesn't trigger until I don't believe yeah, so. It. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So like, all you do is you bring it back, right? You bring back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's this? What's this? It's like, I know it's not Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> I'm getting an Ether Rise because we don't have Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know why we do. Cyclonic Rift should just be off the ban list. Yeah, or like, you know, reasons like this. <laughs> Literally cannot do anything with this board. Oh no, you're going to Cyclonic Rift me? No. Mm. It's almost as if Blue might have other ways to wipe the board other than Cyclonic Rift. And yeah, don't use but... Them. But Cyclonic Rift is the best one. Gets under oh. Gaddic Teague. And it also on top of that, you know, like it bounces everything at instant speed, which is amazing. Like Devastation oh. Tide does. But Devastation Tide is sorcery. No, it's Miracle. You could do Miracle Mystical Tutor if you want. I guess if you want to go that way, but I want a Mystical Tutor for something else. I don't have to Mystical Tutor. Well, it's like, oh, well, there's counter spell, but mana drain's way better, so why not is that mana drain? Mm -hmm. Oh, you play both. You play both. Oh, garbage. You play more. Garbage. Absolute <laughs> garbage. Trash. 
I mean, we could we could fiddle with the ban list. Viewers, let us know what you want. Unbanned, banned, everything like that. The reason why Cyclonic Rift, by the way, was put on the ban list in the first place was because we just got nonstop complaints from the viewers oh. that it was bad viewing experience. It wasn't just it wasn't like mean old Tomer was no in no the arbitrary <laughs> ban list. Tomer owns the ban list. Yeah, and like, <laughs> threaten us every every day. Like, it was just every single time we cast Cyclonic Rift, we just get like a bunch of comments. Hating on it, it'd be like, oh, another game uh, dictated by Cyclonic Rift. That was essentially why. And then we were just like, all right, we'll just we'll just ban it. Fine, fine. And that that's the story of the ban list. But is really, I, I feel people are just overly salty about it. like if I insurrection, it's the same thing. Right? People are salty yep. about insurrection. Like, like you just <laughs> win. Or like rise of the dark. There are all these like really high CMC cards. It's like. Sure, you can use it for two CMC, but like no one really cares. Like that flexibility isn't worth much. It's just like an I win the game card, but every color has one of those like high CMC I win the game cards. Yep, yep. It's true, I but think- it's not. I don't think it's a rational argument, right? It's more like, do people like watching it? Yes or no? And then it's just like, you can you can argue that you think that it's fine. I enjoy the watching day. it. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, you're asking we, the wrong person. <laughs> if, if you have to slog through the, the the comment sections each time, maybe you would not want so much to deal with it. Wait, can you? I think you it's also an instant to too. To what? <laughs> it's also an instant too compared to like insurrection and stuff, which I kind of is makes oppressively it good. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, it's, it is. It's like it's not even close. Like it is like absurdly strong. Instant speed, asymmetrical. And modal, and it's just like for seven mana, that is insane. Amazing. I mean, it's it's seven mana. I win the game, but it's instant speed, like Seth said. It's also it's also like the the person before your end step is basically screwed because you're gonna do it the end step before your turn, and then they have to discard down to hand size. It's not just even like a (laughs) the game is over when you yeah matter what the effect is when you cast it, you you win. Yeah, same thing with like expropria. I'm I'm thankful that nobody's actually playing it because I think the comment section would be in an uproar. But expropria is another card where it's just like there's no setup required. You just reach the the mana limit and then you win the game. Can, can Seth win somehow here? He's like getting. Really I don't. Like, I don't think Seth ever I'm plans on winning. But... <laughs> I, I, <laughs> like, can uh, he somehow uh, assemble something and just win? <laughs> I I don't I I'm trying to figure that out myself. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm doing a lot of things, but I'm not sure. If it leads to me winning the game somehow or not. The Seth brand of victory is just making sure that everybody else is, loses emotionally <laughs> and spiritually. See, if I if I sweep now, right, before yeah. Seth has any mana, all that's going to happen is we're going to get hit by a thousand worm tokens. Yeah, but I would kill yeah, Seth. Yeah, don't sweep now. Oh, I can eat the rise. Oh, right. So I should just sweep now then. There's six worm co- don't. Uh, why are we killing me? We're not killing you. We're wiping the wait, board. Wait, doesn't doesn't? Uh, <laughs> wait. So wait, wait. So if you wipe the board, he gets to imprint. He gets a worm coil. He gets. To, he just keeps doing the same yeah, exact yeah, stuff. It actually doesn't do anything. Like you guys just mm. lose to Tomer. Yeah. Well, mm. but Protein Hulk also could get something with counters on it, and then to make ascendancy wins on <laughs> Richard's upkeep. I mean, I mean, Seth could always just bring back whatever, anyways. But he has to do, spend five mana for it. He doesn't have the mana for it, so that is not a but, not an option now. But that's that that's this is at the end of Richard's turn. Yeah, he'll just untap and bring back Sun Titan and start. Oh, this is still game. Richard's turn. Yeah, this is disgusting. <laughs> All right, whatever. The with six I'm worm on, coils. I'm, yeah, you got six worm I'm coils. On team Two free worm coils. A turn. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm just. I I feel like I'd rather just. See turtles win. <laughs> I don't see how turtles can win here. <laughs> I would like to see turtles win. I haven't played a single turtle in like 20 would, minutes. Would it really be a turtle minutes. victory though if Simic Ascendancy wins with zero turtles on the battlefield? I need this Hulk to die. So turtles have been turtles. casted though. So, Turtles, yeah, have, turtles been have been cast, but do they contribute to the game? <laughs> do they contribute to the game in any way other than to draw cards off Vanquisher's banner? I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was holding um, Mystical Tutor because I wanted to get Tortoise Formation. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> All it does is this four mana instant creatures you control gain shroud. Wait, it gets I... around shadow spear, <laughs> but it's like a card with like a bunch of turtle shells on it. <laughs> Ooh, I got a karmic guide. That's Wait. actually pretty good. That's not bad. It's a token of a. Car- I wish I had stuff in my graveyard. <laughs> that would yeah, be great. 
Wait, what? You get the reef worm. So? What do you mean, so? The only it has to die. Uh, all right, what do we what do we do here? Oh, it I feel like we should be able to do something. Tomer's at 63. <laughs> Krim has a wrath at any moment. I also feel like you should be able to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, Tomer. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel <laughs> I appreciate you the vote of confidence. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can though. How does this deck win? There's gotta be there's Combat, gotta be a way to win. Except someone else is making just as many tokens as you every turn. So. <laughs> and their and tokens Tomer's gain six life. life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only making one token a turn, everyone. All right. Okay, Wait, actually two. 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 Three with uh, Mimic Mask. All right, who's counting? All right. <laughs> it's a casual 18. Like I said, I'm not here for the math, all right? That's not why I play Magic the Gathering. What we need is Sever the Bloodline. Do anyone have a Sever the Bloodline? <laughs> uh, no, I do not. <laughs> is, it, is there a turtle equivalent? I need an enchantment removal. I think this deck has zero ways. I think the like Meteor Golem would go a long way in this deck. I'm just saying. Not the poo poo. Too much, but there's like, I don't think that, there's not even like an oblivion stone. There's literally zero, like, there's if there's if you're up against an enchantress deck, this deck actually has zero interaction for you. I don't even know. If, uh, there's on, there's nothing, there's not an oblivion stone, there's not an even rules disc, there's not a perilous vault, there's not, there's, there's not, there's actually nothing. I can't, I, there's nothing in my deck that can deal with the Simic Ascendancy. <laughs> that's crazy I uh... <laughs> what's going on just has to do any stuff who knows <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just making making some zombies that's the best thing I've figured out to do with my commander so far is get back a fetch land <laughs> to make a couple zombies and then activate it again to make a couple zombies but there's gotta be something better than that there's gotta be that can't be the best thing my deck can do I don't know how I haven't drawn any creatures outside of this just <laughs> field. Well, yeah. You've been discarding the same everything. Question, so. Well, no, <laughs> I but I haven't question. drawn... Like, if you think about it, I haven't discarded any creatures. I've only drawn lands. Well, have you drawn any cards? No. So, there you go. <laughs> I mean, he draws a turn. Every turn, like, yeah. Every card, yeah. every turn. Uh, so, I guess we do this again. <laughs> yeah. Still not sure this is going anywhere, but we're doing things technically. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> um, Wait, says that ten. Oh, I guess he has infinite fogs. And you have He's an eight the rise. He's hey, a yeah, couple infinite fogs. Gisela hits <laughs> away from death. Yeah, I am getting pretty close to dead. Well, the problem is he has a bunch of ground blockers, and I don't have trample. Um, and he has a fog. <laughs> Uh, I was promised death, Seth. <laughs> you said you'd kill me when you went off. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay. All right, I guess that gains, that gains me some life, sort of. <laughs> it loses yep. everyone a ton of life, right? Yeah. Resolve. Well, stuff has to die, though. Well, so I guess if you wrath, right? it's good. Yeah. Well, I'm dead. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It still depends on Krim Rathing, though. I think. I mean, I'm just, I'm just waiting to see what Seth does at this point. <laughs> uh, I guess we play. I, uh, hmm. Resolves. I, we, I guess we should have done this earlier. Oh, <laughs> that is spicy. There you I go. Feel can Seth slip. make more creatures a turn than Tomer can? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, he can just like grind it out. But <laughs> Seth doesn't have a sack outlet. That I can see. Yeah, right? I don't. So, I don't have a sack outlet. Why does he need a sack outlet though? So then the Tomer doesn't gain like a bajillion life. Oh. Ooh. We we attacked. We're doing our <laughs> our duty as a responsible Attacking. commander player. <laughs> right. Right. Very right. Cool. Right. <laughs> no blocks. <laughs> Resolves. <laughs> I guess we just I guess we just load up on Blood Artist, so if Krim does Wrath, it's probably good for me. Yeah, oh, Cruel that's Celebrant. A... Oh, Cruel Celebrant's there. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, there's quite uh, triple, like, er, for every creature that dies now, that we all get ping three. 
believe. It's two, right? Three. Because there's Bastion, the Corpse Knight, and... Corpse Knight's when it enters the battlefield. Yeah, Corpse Knight enters, but yeah. Uh, Well, two. Um, Why'd you have to do it now, Seth? (laughs) (laughs) Are you you wrathing? No, don't wrath. (laughs) I'm going to die without using my etherize. (laughs) (laughs) You could use it now to send a message. If I don't wrath, then eventually I, sweeping actually just kills me, right? It's going to kill you anyway. Like if you wrath now, you're just going to die to like a billion worm, worm coil coils. tokens. Yeah. I don't necessarily. So you just take the hit and keep Tomer from killing Wait, you. Wait, I thought, don't you want second? I'll give you second, Krim. Oh, I've been offered second. All right. <laughs> 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 no, he's really going to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody offered me second. I'm on board. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Wait, so how many creatures do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So everyone takes 28. Yep. Turn off uh, auto yields. Oh. I, I, don't, I fail to see how this is better for you. <laughs> now can you flash in another fiend? Another... Uh, oh, hang artist? on. Ooh, Grim so Plus, that's my... you draw a billion cards. It takes damage. Does it take damage or no? Is that the one that doesn't do damage? Hmm, does not. But right, you gain I think two we... life for each creature dying. One, two, three. Remove a counter. Remove a counter. Remove a counter. Ooh. Shenanigans. All right. Sort of. Getting? Maybe. Um, Death's Oasis? A Mana Rock? And then... Oh. Uh-oh. We... Activating... Okay. Activate to bring back what? Uh, I think we go with Luminous Broodmoth? Oh, okay. nice. Okay. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's spicy. And then they all I mean, fly, right? Die and fly, yeah. <laughs> so he gets to ping Tomer for a bunch. But Tomer, Wait, I get so to, I get to back keep, so much life. I get to keep one of the things, though, when it dies. With, with the... I think Tomer still wins. I think. I feel like Seth can just overwhelm him. Into it. Like, well, I feel like he have... can hold steady. If I get like the... Tomer, there's no way to get out. He can just keep spore frogging until you get an answer to Tomer's board. So I feel Seth's gonna win. I could. So I'm gonna take this Sun Titan. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is gonna be. This is fine. Because like this is essentially the last turn I have to wrath anything. Anyways, right? So no, you could have you could have waited for another uh, overloaded whatever you had. It's at the bottom of my deck. <laughs> you got to shuffle. You got to shuffle. And I know that everything I'm gonna draw, there's nothing that actually gets me back in the game. Because mm. if you take the hit, Tomer attacks. I etherize. We get another full turn cycle to try to accomplish something. Uh. Woo! Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of triggers. It is. Wait, did any of your creatures have trample? I'm just asking for a friend. Uh, no. no. Okay. I don't think so. But now Richard gets all the turtles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. Is there Teferi's protection turtle? <laughs> 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 Although Richard does die here, right? Uh, I think probably yeah. it's very likely that richard dies here yeah can i king make on my way out <laughs> <laughs> either rise in response post combat the turtle deck looked powerful but i am a little disappointed that we didn't see more turtles i was very have, light on the turtle, like turtle. <laughs> oh there was too many support pieces i i had the i had the dream i had the early vanquishers banner but i couldn't draw a turtle even after drawing like eight additional cards how many turtles are you running? Uh, Decklist has 28 creatures. Maybe 20 turtles. 
Can't tell. Oh man, so many clicks. So many clicks. What if I like, grab the Protean Hulk? Does that... Oh no, the Protean Hulk would go away. So I'm going to grab the Sun Titan, but it's going to be very difficult to navigate Moto through that. <laughs> He'll grab what Moto wants you to grab. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things going on right now. <laughs> I've got like two rows of just. Okay, I think I've almost successfully. Okay. All right. I stacked all my triggers. It's my time now. Tomer's time to shine. Wait, what if. But don't these worm coil tokens just end up winning, though? Is that like not how this ends? I'm pretty you sure. Have enough you blockers. Oh, you're out of mana. Tom- yeah, Tomer if gets you had mana, two. you could just spore frog every turn. Right. Oh, but, oh, do you have, you don't have any mana up? He doesn't have Spore Frog mana, so maybe he does die. Dude, yes. I think I'm killing Seth this turn. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, you know, I can't kill you, so. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're, we're cool. Uh, Krim, we're gonna get second. <laughs> Show us the turtles, Richard, before you die. Your, your protein hulk resolves first, so we get to see turtles. No, maybe he gains some. Maybe he gains enough life to live, and then he wins. There's no way to gain life. There's no maybe turtles he, to gain life equal to toughness. None of them have any abilities. Man, <laughs> I feel like I feel like turtles have been really neglected as a tribe in, in uh, Magic. Two. You think there's going to be a oh, set? Have, <laughs> if we got cats and dogs, yeah, we'll have a turtle set at some point. Just be like some grossly overpowered turtle commander, where it's like all turtles <laughs> you control. Whenever you play a turtle, you draw like five cards and you generate uh, five there's, mana. There's I get, some, I get there's some snappers. All right. <laughs> the Jesus turtle, giant tortoise. Can you oh, use that energy yeah. effectively <laughs> at all? Yes. All right. Which no. one? Which one? How do I find... The I just want Sun Titan. Is this I Sun think Titan? Gotta, if you hover on the Mimic Fat, I think it shows you. Uh, yeah, if you hover on the Mimic Fat, it should highlight creatures in the graveyard. It highlights all your creatures. Uh, what does it really? Yeah, it highlights all of the ones that died. I want your Sun Titan. Wait, maybe if I, a- I'll, I'll just go through each one and I'll say yes to each one, and that will work. Till I find the Sun Titan. <laughs> Please don't make me click through every one of these. I'm F6. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, that. That is a corpse knight. Okay. Um, no, I feel like Seth doesn't die. I feel there's not enough tokens for him to die. But there are two. Oh, no. there's so many tokens. Yeah, there, there's and I'm two at 10. tokens per worm coil, right? Well, yes. wait, what does he copy, though? It's whatever Mimic Vat brings right, back when he's copying. That's going to be Sun Titan. Yeah, that's Anyways. not that's not enough because Seth gains like a billion life off this too, right? I gain a bit. And Seth just needs to survive one turn, then he can just infinite fog. So let's see. This mimic van. There, I got it. Huge for Tomer. All right, there we go. Seth will naturally mill out first, though. <laughs> Oh, here comes a million worms, which will all be Sun Titans. I'm super dead. Y'all have blockers. You have have a lot of creatures. We'll see. It's not that many because I don't get the tokens back. You do, don't you? And I'm also not 100% sure if... You get get the zombie tokens. No, they don't. They disappear when they hit the graveyard. And I'm also dies, not sure if this mimic. Oh, return yeah, but to has the to, Yeah. Uh, I'm also uh, not sure if the mimic mind. vat ruins this, like because they were some of the cards were exiled for a quick second. Like, are they new oh. objects now? So oh, the mimic vat might have actually like ruined most of my plan. We'll Maybe find Seth out. Is super dead. Well, I have another spell in my hand that's going to make him super dead anyway. Second place, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What if he backs no, he's, Oh, he didn't get any of them back! Yeah, the the mimic that ruined it. Oh Wow. So I killed Richard, I hurt Krim, and now I'm just I'm definitely I'm we actually are probably both just dead. No no no, no 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 Tomer, you have to let me get one turn. <laughs> oh you will. Okay, cool. 
I'm in my work. You're not going to kill both of us? Oh, I, I guess I guess to guarantee it, I could have put every single one under the mimic bat, and that would have for sure messed it up. But, yep. But, but then, then you wouldn't have ended up with the sun titan. Well, you yeah, but it would have messed it. <laughs> I don't think the sun titan matters. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All but right. couldn't you have stacked it to where like it eats everything? It's if, my triggers, though. Oh, oh. So he doesn't get to stack them, although I didn't even think about it. I just stacked them randomly. All right, we're just going to get... Adventure spare. Uh, I guess this this is yeah. I mean, I think I think we'd both be dead here if Tomer chooses to kill both of us. Yeah, Tom, I could kill both. Oh, <laughs> Krim's got yeah, five lives. Sure <laughs> Krim, Krim doesn't even need any resources. I'm pretty sure Krim would die. I mean, I can't believe Krim's commander stayed on the battlefield literally <laughs> this entire game, like 15 turns. It's just been there the entire time. How many times did it wrath? Like. <laughs> Five, six? I think so. Like five or six you, times. <laughs> you didn't do a whole lot other than that, but boy, did you wrath a lot. <laughs> it, was, it, was a like cost. it cost you two cards, right? Without a land tax. <laughs> My commander was Wrath of God. <laughs> All right. This, this is what I had. Um, Tomer, don't kill me this turn. Please. I'm not killing you this turn. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, gonna, I'm also going to respect the possibility that you have... Uh, what? A wrath on the next turn? Actually, uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to allow you to what, do that. What wrath would I, I mean, have? He has a wrath on the battlefield. You could top. You could top like a wrath. Uh, he has one on the battlefield. What? Are, no, I need two was, cards. He needs two cards. Yeah. So any, I mean, all you need is a way to get an extra he, card. He, he needs an insurrection or something. But even then, <laughs> oh, all these treasures. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are all going to be. Sun Titans too. Yep. Oh, I could have done this beforehand, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, uh, will, will you crash Moto with a million Sun Titan triggers? Is that on the primer? <laughs> <laughs> I would be careful. You, you might actually crash Moto. <laughs> or he, he tries to attack and he just here. sacks the treasures. <laughs> you got oh. really nothing to get back from Cold your graveyard anyway. Uh, oh you boy. get two two lands. Right. I'm going to. I'm. I'm not going to respect the. I could find something with the Inventor's Fair. It would have been Precursor Golem, but it's not broken with... Uh... Wait, why can't I tap my mana? Oh, it's getting laggy. Yeah, Tober, don't do not do it. Moto, <laughs> save it. me, Moto. Save me, care. Moto. Don't the worry, Tober, let me cast Sharding Sphinx, damn you. <laughs> let me cast <laughs> yes. it. <laughs> yes, Moto, come on. Save me, Moto. I need to make all the tokens. Tomer's gonna break all Moto. the tokens. Oh, Moto's definitely gonna break. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, Tomer is saved by running out of cards in hand. <laughs> oh, you don't get them till after combat. Though. I know. It's what fine. you need is like first. Strength. Are you gonna make all those treasures Double sun strength. titan though? That's that's. Where's the? No, 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 no. You need to make them touch. all sharding sphinx. So after combat, I you can't. have like a billion tokens. I know, but oh, it's, not it's not a token. A token. If I took, if I got the mirror pool last turn, then I could have copied the sharding sphinx, and that would have been hilarious. But whatever, it is creating a token. So make up, make them all kobolds. I say, <laughs> no, <laughs> Miss that would really send a message. <laughs> all right. Wow. <laughs> what? Ah, Tomer oh, oh, get back! Get <laughs> oh my god, Tomer, no! <laughs> Tomer, no! did all that and did the deck. No! <laughs> wow. you, you just do it again next turn. <laughs> oh. So we're friends, right, Seth? <laughs> 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 Under the eyes. <laughs> oh, Wait, now, now, now Seth just spore frogs you forever. Uh, yeah, I could spore frog for a while, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was so dead. <laughs> huh. I mean, I'll scoop if you want me to. You definitely had me dead, but... <laughs> How long will the game last <laughs> if he's got spore frog locked? Uh, what... How many? How much time do we get on the clocks? Um, another hour and a half. Uh, I, I, I have, a, I have an out. I have an out to the poor frog. I think, kind of, maybe. I don't even know. Like I can tutor up. Uh, I tutor up my soul guy lantern. 
but then you can in response just recur it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think I have another. I can just try to break Moto at this point. Well, Seth, <laughs> Seth will mill out first. <laughs> yeah, you remember you, you promised me second place. <laughs> Crim wins. <laughs> oh, Crim's gonna have bones to pick with everyone after this game. Yeah, I owe him for breaking that promise. Yes, Tomer is gonna break the promise. Oh man, I don't know if I can kill Tomer, but I'm pretty sure that Cruel Celebrant can kill you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Cruel Celebrant will just kill Crim incidentally. <laughs> There's still a field of the dead, so give Seth enough time and he'll come back <laughs> with enough tokens. Oh man, this is gonna take a long time, isn't it? And every time a token comes, uh, he drains. <laughs> so Krim has five tokens. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sell down there. <laughs> take him out the old-fashioned way. So brazen. Now that he knows, he won't get attacked <laughs> by Doctor Anime. Man, that's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> what are my alternate win conditions? Uh, well, if you didn't promise Krim, you need to hit Krim and then make like 80 tokens off of Krim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you that know fog for Krim right too. now, everybody, <laughs> that I drink <laughs> Cartographer's yeah. Hawk. Here we go. Star. Here's the ramp. What a champ. <laughs> oh, wait. I think... Hmm. I think you can drain us out eventually with the Krim I... Celebrant and the Bastion. I think I might have a way to... So if I do that, and that does... Can I... Oh, does that win? Uh oh So that gets that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, All right, maybe. Enough for commander damage and hit him? Oh, he has a flying sphinx. Uh-oh. So, so we do this. Yeah. We get this. Oh, no. Revel arc. Oh, then we and karmic guides in the yard, right? Evoke this. Yeah, there is a karmic guide. Uh. <laughs> Wait, so you just win then? I think. Yeah. And then he just sacrifices it. Wait, hold on. Can't... But I don't have a sack of the at the moment. The vat. The vat. Uh, <laughs> got him. Vat. Yoink, 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 yoink. <laughs> <laughs> the vat will stop the spore frog, too. Yeah, so... Yes, dude. <laughs> wait, All right. wait, wait, So we only have, like, a couple turns. Two creatures with power two or less. Um, Let's bring back your spore frog, so... No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Do it. We need to win. We need to win somehow. I mean, oh, this, this does ruin it, doesn't it? You just need something to kill the mimic that. You have something. <clears throat> no, let it but end. Well, my, <laughs> but doesn't my thing end up exiled forever? Yeah, yes. But so, I mean, if my Revel Arc's exiled forever, then killing mimic fat doesn't really help, right? Well, you need it to. But like use at this your point, your deck <laughs> going forward, <laughs> right? Otherwise, you can't do anything. And wouldn't mimic vat ruin all your dying triggers? Wait, yeah. do I do I have to grab this now with the river arc? Mm, I actually don't know. So I like my sun titan. Uh, I mean, I w I wouldn't mind the sun titan either. So I know that's if you want to put that back in my graveyard, I'm kind of down with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, game. hold on, it's not permanently exiled. Oh yeah, mimic vat puts it back into the no, graveyard. You can only you can only permanently exile one thing. But, like, if he spore frogs, then I'm going to take the spore frog, and then he can't spore frog. So, I, I think I punted, but uh, I think I'm now saved from the pun. Oh. Well, fine. <laughs> 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 oh, I should have just done that beforehand, I think. Resolves. All the answers. But I still don't have a... I still don't have a sacrifice outlet. <laughs> Tomer was so merciful. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the the concern here? Oh, merciful! Well, you have a flesh bag marauder. Yeah. Does he? St oh, what's exiled? You only exiled a, a, a sun titan in the entire thing. That's it. That's all you lost. The other stuff goes back. You only exile one card permanently, essentially. Man. All right. The other stuff goes back when you choose a new card. 
<sighs> I don't want to. <laughs> and now that's the <laughs> infinite. I mean, I just need a sack outlet and it's infinite. Yeah, he just needs to find a sack outlet. You play crafter, right? Can't you get that? Oh, no, no, hold on. It, it has to I be... need like a permanent sack outlet, I think. Well, you could mill into I mean, you it. Just keep milling into it, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the hope. Where's Death's Nest? Didn't you? I, I thought you would have brought that back by by now. Yeah, that costs mana, though. Does it? Or, and that doesn't sack creatures. No, actually. but whenever a non-token creature you control dies. Oh, yeah, I guess that like you could like kind of mill your way to it. Uh, so I guess we get this. No, <laughs> my cartographer's hawk. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of my tokens. Does this actually end up with me winning the game? I'm not actually sure. It's possible. Right, I guess we... Okay. I just need a sack outlet. Why is it so hard to find a sack outlet? Uh, so we will sack, I guess, uh, Revlark? I think. Sack outlet. Where is the death? Th oh, they're all lifelink. Okay. This one. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice Magetta. <gasps> I thought it was going to last the entire game. Cartographer's Hawk is now the truth. <laughs> you are one death trigger away from dying, though. Oh, yes. I can't help you with that. I, I think I think Krim probably does end up dying this turn, I would guess. I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. <laughs> never say never. Um, uh, do you win? No. I need a sack outlet. <laughs> That's awkward. That's the the sticking point. If I can find a sack outlet, then yes. But I don't know if I will or not. Like I I don't win on board. Tomer, we, we this wouldn't even be an issue if you didn't <laughs> skip your attack step. All right, that wasn't <laughs> yeah, intentional. That okay. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you giving me a chance. It's been a long <laughs> game. <laughs> Man. Tomer. <laughs> Why, <laughs> Tomer? Why? <laughs> I believe Tomer uh, promised Krim second place. <laughs> I believe he did not deliver I mean, on Yeah, I was not given second place. It's not my fault. <laughs> it is your fault. What are you talking about? All right, it was my fault. But <laughs> Who else would have been at fault there? Zach Outlet? We only have one more shot at it. No. So we'll get this. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'm not... I don't have very good milling. That's kind of the issue here. Well, do I that, kill you, then? That? That's why I thought you were going to get Karaka, Death's Nest Karmica a while died. back. But, yeah, it might have been worth it just to get Death's Nest for more graveyard filling. Yeah. That might have been... That might have been the way to go here. One, two, three. I still don't know if you kill me, though. Um, well, one more shot. Sack outlet for the win. Mom we'll spaghetti. Try. All right. <laughs> and new. No. Spirit of the Labyrinth, though. You can stop that Thopter spy network. <laughs> Oofed. So we'll get back. Uh, Spore frog. It's got to oh, be. It's got to be Spore frog, right? It's already Let's get this. Yeah, I already got the spore frog. Oh, it's back. Oh, even better. <laughs> Blow up. Does Do it. It even matter? Tomer Do has it. so much stuff. <laughs> right. Do it. We'll blow up your enchantment, Commander. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, you should have got Gat of <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and your go. Is so I. Ah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I can't kill you. <laughs> All right, now Tomer can crash Moto for the win. <laughs> All right, Tomer. I'll try. I mean, I will find a sack outlet eventually, so... I'm, I'm going to gain Moto a lot of life. <laughs> so that's, that's 37 cards. You can, like... Well, but you out. can go and... Mill them. <laughs> Tomer can go and now get the Soul Guide Lantern, though. Yeah, so I can stop, like... I can I can get rid of the entire graveyard. It doesn't really matter, though. If he still finds the the thingy, then he wins on board. All right, so Spore Frog has been sacked, so yeah. you don't have to worry about skipping combat this turn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got gotcha. you. Oh, 
I skipped it for you. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> I wonder how the comments are going <laughs> to... They, they expect this, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> Actually, yeah. I feel like like that's not even like a misplay, right? Like you, you, that's that. I mean, it is, but like it's really not, though. That's just, you know, you skip it. It's, it's one that wouldn't happen in paper, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. I, I passed through my turn, everyone. <laughs> what's, the, what's the equivalent? It's like, are you done? Yeah. Oh, oh you said oh, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. You said it. You said it. All right, let's cast this. Not my graveyard, Tomer. Oh, baby, it is. All right, let's get rid of the spore frog first. I had plans for that. I'm sure you did. All right, and then... I mean, we have a bunch. We don't really. Uh, I guess I just attack. Oh, wait, I can't attack. Doesn't matter. To I attack. mean, you can, but it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Oh, that's not. Can't be gaining the hell that life. That's not as fun. Um, let's just cast this guy. Oh god! I guess we just oh my god! Activate it now and see what, what's what up. What got casted? Oh, locust god! There it is. There's just so many things on Tomer's. See what's board. up? Oh, I fa- oh, if I found the other card, then I would have crashed Moto. <laughs> D- I'm curious what your Moto crash was. <laughs> is I think I'm just gonna crack the Soul Guy Lantern now. In case there's shenanigans at instant speed. That I'm not aware of. <laughs> hmm. Take it. Yeah, I kind of wanted my graveyard. Uh, I mean, you can still win on board. I think. I still, well, yeah, I still need the sag outlet. That's still what it comes down to. I feel like I only have one in my deck, though. I'm just gonna do this now. I'm lazy. All right, it's not optimal. Well, with the spore frog gone, either I find a way to kill you this turn, or I am a hundred percent dead on your turn. Yeah, I think that is true. You have a lot of worms. What? I mean, if you have a wrath, you can stall for quite a while. Oh yeah, I don't remember. think I have wraths though. Yeah, the the only reason right. why there were any wraths is because my commander. <laughs> yeah, Krim was Krim was the wrath guy this week. <laughs> All right, it's on you, Seth. Well, okay, we'll play this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even 100% sure if I got lands to find anymore. One, I mean, there okay. is Corpse Knight plus Cruel Celebrant plus Bastion. That is three for each zombie. I mean, if I find a sack outlet, I yeah. can kill you. Yeah. But it's all, I mean, you're definitely dead if I find a sack outlet. I don't know if I can, though. We'll see. But those zombies mean we get to activate our commander. I guess we should be tapping colorless mana. One more activation. Just in case. One, two, three. Oh, wait, it's not just one activation. It's like multiple oh, activations. You have a lot. You have a big kind shot. of a whiff. Wait, he whiffed? He needs more yeah. counters. Yeah, that's the, the pinch at the moment. How? So we get a zombie. Wait, or out of lands. I'll play this. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's like. Then you activate. Oh no, but then no, you need mana. Needs mana. Yeah. Yeah, the pinch is mana, but I don't think I have another choice but to activate. What? You have Eric Mesa still. I don't have lands left. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything left to fetch. Oh yeah, that's not great. I mean, that's it. Right? Oh. He just has like one activation after this. Well, we will put counters on our team. And this yeah. is the last activation, right? One, two, three. It looks like. Uh, yeah. Well, one, two, three. <laughs> Who's Something clicking good? on Seth's graveyard? <laughs> oh my God! It's carrying feeder. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, it's over. There's enough. Control, now, right? yeah. now it. Now, it's now, really, now yeah. that's GG's. Uh, <laughs> wow, the very last possible second. That is brutal. Wow, that was ridiculous. Well, Wait. Tomer, I still consider you the winner if it makes you feel better. 
<laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see how the chat feels about it. Wait, could I have kept the Soul Guy Lantern and stopped the Carrion Feeder from entering the battlefield or no? Well, you could have... So the problem... You- <clears throat> it's hard. I think you would have run into the problem that I could have activated Etzel, the reanimation land, and probably got back something that you would have had to activate it for. Mm. Yeah. So I think that it wouldn't have made a difference anyway, because... I think it was well, right to activate it when you did, because I can activate my commander at instant speed, I can activate the land at instant speed, so if you wait, there is a pretty good shot you get blown out, like, in response to your activation. Yeah. But you true. but you also knew that Seth needed five mana to do that, and and, he, and Seth needed more counters, right? So, I, I don't know, I mean, like, I, I I think there is a discussion to still wait a little, right? Well, you would have activated Atzel, and at the very least, he gets Spore Frog, and then he uses the rest of the mana Well, but you, you would then respond, right? You would respond to do mm-hmm. that. And then I guess, yeah, then Seth would then have to spend five mana to activate Atzel, right? And then to do that all over again. So that pretty much ends his turn. Hmm. Yeah. But with the Spore Frog, yeah. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, I guess next, you had to get rid of Spore Frog. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, so. Uh, oh, wow, that was ridiculous. So that was that was well, quite the game. <laughs> to tie it all back, Tomer should have never skipped as a combat step. But I mean, <laughs> yes, that, I would agree with that. I mean, that was definitely an oopsie on my part. Uh, yeah, but that's not a misplay. So, <laughs> the or, I mean, glorious unless pun. you unless you intentionally chose to not attack there, <laughs> then that's a misplay. That was, that was quite the punt. Uh, well, so we ought to see most of the, or most of my deck and most of Seth's deck. So I want to hear about first Richard because uh, we didn't get to see a lot of turtles. We got to see some turtles, but not a lot of turtles. So what was like the best turtle in the deck? Uh, I think it's the meme turtles, the, the five nine <laughs> meandering whatever. <laughs> there's a there's a four man of four four that when you cast a converted mana cost five or greater, you draw a card from Eldrate. Uh It's a pretty good turtle. Um, there are good turtle support cards. There's Shell of the Last Kappa. I didn't know this was a card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a Lorwyn one that nobody plays. Right? Yeah, I, I can, I can pay, th- it's an artifact. You pay three to tap it, remove target instant or oh, sorcery yeah, that targets you from the game. And then you can pay three and sack it to play that card without yeah. its mana cost. Yeah. And then we had Tortoise Formation, which I talked about, which is like a bunch of uh, sh- uh, soldiers in like a formation with shields that are tortoise shells. Um, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of cards. But the main way to win is either Civic Ascendancy or Assault Formation. Um, <laughs> Civic Ascendancy, uh, the idea is to actually have a lot of experience counters and then you can Ascendancy and then with your commander stack uh, the counters and go for a surprise win. Uh, we never cast many turtles that game, so that didn't happen, and the board kept getting wiped. Uh, but yeah, I, I was trying to maneuver some way. I, I could have tutored for like a Neoform or something to get rid of the Hulk and then get a bunch of turtles, but I couldn't do anything from that point and pretty much just wrapped. So <laughs> I couldn't really do anything. <laughs> I just sat around and did nothing. Uh, like it, it wouldn't trigger any draws from my Vanquisher banner or Azuri triggers or anything. So mm-hmm. the Protean Hulk uh, didn't really help there. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of cool turtle cards. And I'm sure we'll see more turtle decks when Commander Legends comes out because we have a legendary turtle now. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the deck, uh, it, we didn't get to see a lot of turtles, but I feel like I feel like that is definitely something that the Sultai Commander will uh, will bring an extra, extra oomph to. I don't know how it synergizes with turtles, so the, you're gonna have to figure out, Richard, how you're gonna make it all work. Uh, how do you? Uh, okay, okay. I think I found a tribe worse than skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Let it be known that skeletons was the arch enemy of Halloween week. So I don't, I, I don't, I think, think, I don't think poor skeletons were uh, an issue. Skeletons still worse. Uh, the zero five can become five fives of the salt formation. Skeletons yep. will just forever be one ones that can't regenerate through half the wraths being played nowadays. <laughs> yeah, what's with all the? <laughs> the anti-regenerate rats that's so mean Vegeta would have stopped skeletons in their tracks yeah can't this regenerate. also can't be regenerated what is this prejudice against regeneration um anyway speaking of Vegeta uh we Magetta. never found out if uh no it's, it's Vegeta let's be fair uh <laughs> the garlic gun um we gotta see the garlic gun in action at least we gotta see a lot of a lot of rats. Uh, what, what was some spice that you didn't get to showcase this deck uh, game? Uh, 
So pretty much a lot of this was supposed to be revolving around me having a land tax effect. So actually Seth killing my weathered wayfarer earlier in the game was pretty brutal. And then exiling it was even worse. Uh, so, so that bazooka bug actually severely like set me back there because I would have been able to constantly get lands because I was going to get Lotus Field to set me back as you saw. And then eventually at the end of everything, after all my lands were gone, the game plan was to use planner rebirth. And then have uh, Amiria Sky Sh or Amiria Shepherd to bring everything back. Of course, that would also require me to draw creatures, which I drew zero copies of. Um, outside of Car Cartographer's Hawk and, and a Gisela or whatever. And, and other than that, it really just revolved around like just using a lot of these land tax style effects of just getting a lot of lands, constantly sweeping the board, then eventually reanimating and or using the Yosei lock. Um, and then of course there's, uh, there's like a few planeswalkers like Bowsery and, and Gideon just to give all of our stuff indestructible along with like Angelic Overseer so that they can survive. And so legitimately it was just board wipes and trying to make indestructible angels and stuff like that. <laughs> so just like have an, an indestructible army that just like survives the constant wipes. Correct. And then if they were to have like gotten like killed, then that's where Amiria Shepherd comes in along with Planner Rebirth. Right. That's evil. <laughs> it's it's fun it's fun i mean I, unfortunately you know we didn't really see any creatures and seth actually really dunked me with that that bazooka bog early I, I i just saw your like savine's reclamation or whatever and was like oh that's the only relevant thing in the graveyard at the time i had no idea like <laughs> how impactful that would actually end up being i guess yeah that that, that was that was pretty pretty brutal <laughs> well speaking of seth we got to see a lot of the deck uh, and it kind of went off, and it showed it showed its main win condition, which is drain. Uh, what was some secret spice that you didn't get to showcase? Uh, so there's a there's a lot of cool just like graveyardy cards. Uh, we saw a lot of them in the graveyard, like Desoasis would have been really good. We got to see Journey to Eternity. Uh, there isn't anything like super super crazy. You have like Grave Pack to take advantage of the sacrifice stuff. Uh, so you got to see most of what the deck is trying to do. Honestly, I think the biggest takeaway for me is uh, Tyam's an interesting commander. Like the first half of the game. I was feeling like, wow, this card is horrible. It doesn't do anything. This is like just a really, really bad commander. But then I think I realized that it's more of a late game commander. And once you get to the late game, it is actually incredibly powerful when you get the board state set up so you can activate it multiple times in a turn. And then it's putting counters on what you get back. So I feel like, uh, I don't know. I think it's better than I thought at the beginning of the game. Uh, and still actually a pretty powerful commander. It just is something that takes a long time to get going. So... Yeah, I mean, I think the deck is pretty sweet. If you like aristocrat strategies, I think it's a good one. You got to see the, like, pseudo combo. The only thing I'd say is, I only have one creature-based... Well, I uh, maybe that's not true. I guess there's a Woe Strider in there. But I don't have many creature-based sacrifice outlets, and... It felt like that's what we were desperately digging for for most of the game. So maybe, like, another sack outlet could be worth it. But other than that, it felt like a pretty solid, like graveyardy aristocrat style deck and probably got a little lucky that the graveyard hate didn't show up earlier that probably would have made a huge difference i mean even even despite no graveyard hate like you got early strip double like strip mind uh pretty early on in the and game I and even with that you were still you eventually bounced back no problem so i i I kind of did nothing for a very long time between, like, turns 5 and turns 10 <laughs> after the first uh, Wrath from Crim's Commander, and I wasn't sure that I would ever actually do anything for the rest of the game, so I was actually kind of surprised that the deck did have the ability to bounce back, and once it got the Commander going, it was actually really powerful, even through the Strip Mines and the Constant Wrath thing. Uh, I don't know about Tangle Wire, though. Like, <laughs> it's kind of cute and funny, but I, I don't know if that's actually good in the deck, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I guess, uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe he has Fade Encounters. Maybe there's, like, something synergy with that, but maybe, maybe not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's just there for value, and, eh, I mean, it was funny, though. I never see uh, Tangle Wire in Commander, so it was kind of cool to see it show up, I guess. Yeah. Even though it was more of, like, an annoyance than something that was actually <laughs> really impacting the game. Yeah, it was fun to see every once in a while. All right, well, for my deck, just to wrap it up, uh, you got to see pretty much everything that was what Brutaclad does. All you do is you, you find a bunch of ways to make tokens, and then you turn 
uh, your creatures into uh, the most useful token on the battlefield. For this game, it was mostly just trying to find, uh, make tokens that survive rats because there was Magita on the battlefield. Uh, I wasn't very familiar with the, I wasn't very familiar, obviously, with the deck list. So when I was searching up, uh, I, I got the Worm Quill engine. There's possibly some better things that I could have gone in. Uh, I figured out what Mirror Pool does. A turn cycle too late. Uh, I could have turned it into Worm Coil Engine uh, a turn earlier, which would have been, you know, a huge life gain swing and uh, would have g- given me another turn where I could have survived the board wipe. Uh, so there was a bunch of things I could have done better. Definitely uh, attacking for lethal could have been a thing I could have done better <laughs> uh, in the future. Um, that probably isn't uh, tied to uh, uh, me not knowing the deck, just me not knowing how to play. <laughs> but uh, also my deck also had Fetal of the Dead, by the way, which is hilarious. I was kind of excited to find it, but um, uh, I think the coolest thing, though, that the deck wanted to do, but uh, I'm not sure if it. So the the, the primer says that uh, making multiple interact uh, multiple copies of precursor golem does some really weird MTGO breaking things, um, and the idea behind that would be precursor golem says like whenever you, you it comes with some tokens, and whenever you target a precursor golem, you uh, with an instant or uh, with an instant or sorcery, you copy that and you target another uh, precursor golem with it. So you turn all your tokens into precursor golems. And then you do something crazy. And the thing that you do something crazy with, at least in this deck, is cast uh, Rite of Replication uh, on it. So you can do a kicked Rite of Replication, make five copies of a token, and then you copy uh, that kicked repli- Rite of Replication to make five copies of every single other Precursor token, which would make like a bajillion copies of Precursor co- tokens, and that would crash Moto. Uh, that never really panned out, but that would have been hilarious to do. Um, and then the rest of the deck was like really efficient. I mean, it did, it did really cool things. Despite a lot of board wipes, uh, it managed to just hang in there. It had some board wipe resiliency, which I liked. I liked the enchantment that protected my commander from board wipes, which was, that felt really cheeky and I liked it. Um, and outside of uh, attacking for damage, there's mechanized production to win the game. Uh, that way, if like there's a spore frog lock that you can't, uh, get around. But for the, for the, for in general, I really like the deck. I think there should be at least one way to destroy enchantments, though. I'm looking at the list. I could be, I could be missing something, but there are zero ways to interact with enchantments. I feel like that easy thing to fix, just like an oblivion stone would go a long way or something like that. But otherwise, I very much enjoyed it. So yeah. Um, so next week, everyone, I believe it's time for us to do Commander Legends question mark yeah hopefully yeah well, it should be it should be time yep <laughs> yep so hopefully if, there, if there's no calamity that happens on magic online and all things are good then commander legends will be on magic online and then from then on uh, we're gonna do a lot more commander legends stuff because you know it's a commander set and whatnot so that's gonna be really fun and until then friends see ya thanks for watching the video If you liked it, help us out by clicking the like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, make sure to click the subscribe button. And if you want to watch similar videos, click on the links appearing on screen right now.